I could do, I it. do it. Okay, you can do it. Start up some music for you. Oh, yeah, I can listen to that nowadays. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Are we ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. In their last adventure, the party found themselves submerged within a mysterious metal structure, a hollow mountain of rusted debris and forgotten machinery. With Chip's magical or magic skillfully manipulating the water's flow, they ventured deeper into the murky depths. The eerie glow of a distant light above drew them ever upward. However, their ascent was far from peaceful, for they were soon beset by the unexpected arrival of a young sea serpent. The beast wasted no time unleashing a frigid breath that left Loro incapacitated. A grueling battle ensued, testing their mettle and wit, but through cunning tactics and a dash of luck, they triumphed over the formidable bow. Emerging from the water, they found themselves within rarely used maintenance tunnels, where they wisely decided to take a much-needed rest. As they contemplated their next move, fate led them to an astonishing discovery. A massive, mutated abolith had melded itself with the structure's wiring. Realizing that their options were limited, the party launched an all-out assault on the abolith, despite the waves of enemies and psychic onslaught it unleashed upon them. In its final moments, the Abla triggered a self-destruct sequence, setting off a catastrophic chain reaction that threatened to bring the very walls of the facility down upon them. A frantic dash for survival ensued, accompanied by a chaotic stampede of alien creatures. Through sheer determination and grit, the party narrowly escaped the clutches of a nightmarish facility, seeking refuge on an outstretched hand of the old man of the lake, who had sunk hundreds of feet and left them hardly above the waterline. And there, my friends... We resume our journey, with the horrors of the past echoing in our minds as we prepare to face the unknown challenges that await us in the days to come. God, I'm pretentious. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, right. <laughs> no, I was just joking about the my, my writing. But um, the... Uh, so you guys have all leveled up, right? You're all good spell-wise. You're, you know... Don't need to finagle anything. I'm good. I got my spells chosen. I have to pick one more prepared spell. I have a prayer prepared, prepared them all. Okay, I'm good. Um, so last I remember, you guys had actually cast a water walk a bunch of times, and we're uh, kind of riding the waves out back to shore. Katie, not not so much Briar, kind of lamenting the fate of all the animals that are just kind of being left. Yeah, uh, I couldn't hear ham. them. Yeah, Katie, the Katie, the character did say <laughs> some stuff about that. Yeah, <laughs> I could have employed them. Um, so you guys eventually, you know, make it back to the shoreline. You camp out. Somewhere relatively safe. Have your long rest. What are you doing when you guys wake up? Uh... Did we go to our own respective homes? Or we're still in the... Uh... No, you're like still in the wilderness. You're not like... Okay. I'm assuming you didn't like trek the very long trip back to Squelch. Or the much longer trip back to Pell itself. Yeah, that's what I was assuming too, but I just wanted to make sure. How far out are we? From Squelch? Yeah. I want to say, like, it was like a two or three day thing before, wasn't it? I think so. Something like that. On top of that, wasn't our entire thing to try and figure out the... Uh... Or get rid of the whatchamacallits. The tool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we didn't really. We didn't find them. Yeah. Are there less tool around where we're at now? Do you guys think you like went back to like like through the same tunnel or do like you didn't or rather to the entrance of the same tunnel or 
Mm. Uh, Maybe just to, like, where the two were having their camp to see if they're still there. I don't see why I would go all the way back over to the tunnel entrance. Yeah, probably not, right? Um, That's true. We could look at through their, like, little outpost. Sorry, the oh, and you're you're quiet for me. I gotta turn you. The Chul outpost. It yeah, was like uh, a little outpost that we like snuck by. Yeah, that was the was. Didn't you guys like blow that up? I mm-hmm. thought there was two. We blew up one. We mostly. I don't think we blew up their whole outpost, did we? We just blew up their catapult thingies. Yeah, that's right. I'm good because yeah, I don't think I'm trebuchets. blow up a whole camp good. Well, this was that was I think that was all that was like there. There are uh, there were like other camp stuff happening like in other places, but this was like one of the smaller ones. I don't think you guys knew exactly where another one was, but the shoreline is pretty safe bet. Um, just because the nature of these guys. Um. I can, if we can get somewhat in the vicinity, I took Locate Creature today, so I can find Chul within mm-hmm. 1,000 feet. That's pretty good. That's pretty handy. I mean, we could take a flyby. I could do yeah. a sneak by. Oh yeah, that's probably the reason you guys would go back to the tunnel, is all your mounts are there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. Didn't we tell them if it was more than three days to go back to uh, the town? I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that, and I don't. it hasn't been three days, has it? Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to the... Get our mount back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go! <laughs> so... Who's uh, who's gonna lead? Like, just finding your way there, because you guys kind of popped up out of nowhere. You know, not that you have no idea where you are, but uh, only wants to roll a survival check. Hell yeah, I do. Sick, sick, sick. Very strong. Guy. We're on a strong roll streak already. <laughs> can I? Can I help? Too late for that. <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> you guys are traveling, um, just like along the shoreline before you kind of come across this, uh, huge fucking grizzly bear, uh, corpse. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. it doesn't have, um, like you guys are like when you initially see it you know it doesn't even necessarily look dead at the distance you're at it's it's still like kind of standing leaning against a tree um do you guys maybe do you guys think you would like but you i don't know how much you're going to want to walk towards a bear that you don't know is necessarily dead but i feel like um who, who which one which one of you guys is like the perception dude I think that's think Owen, that's right? Me, yeah. That'd be you. Um, oh, and your passive perception is a billion. It's 19. Yeah. Uh, you would pick up that there's uh, a, like a big hole in the in like the front of the bear. Um, just like as you guys are passing by, it looks like there's a big cavity almost that's been like bored out uh, from the um, like the torso, the top and like collarbone area of the bear. With my history and animals and medicine can i like is this from a, a beast type thing do i see you, like, do, do you like get close and start like looking around, around at it or do you just kind of like I, look that there's a wound in the distance and i probably get like five feet out um let me come with you can you roll you can do either medicine or investigation Um, so things that kind of strike you as weird with this is the bear is still like standing. Um, 
It almost looks. Animated. It almost looks um, like extremely dehydrated. Uh, like it's the lips around its teeth are kind of like curled back uh, and suck, suck, sunken in. Its eyes are um, like weirdly shriveled. And specifically looking at like the inside of its mouth, it's got uh, like its tongue looks like a raisin. Um, but the chest cavity hole there, uh, it looks like somebody has like a really fine tooth saw that's in like a circular shape that they use to just like dig out a hole in the in the front of this thing. Like it's it's a near perfect like serrated blade uh, type wound. Is it breathing? The bear is not. It's completely still. There's no like movement or any reaction or anything from it. It's just uh, almost like a jerky esque statue of a bear. I think um, someone sucked all the boba out of this bear. Maybe. I'm gonna take a closer look. Uh, I'm gonna get in front of it and sort of like get on my tippy toes and sort of look it in the eyes. See if it has any reaction. Uh, there is zero reaction at all, but the, uh, like, you're now starting, like, looking at this thing's eyes. They're, like, shriveled over, almost like, uh, your fingers that have been in the water too long. Can I see into the ethereal plane? Is its spirit still hanging around or something? Um, Some bear make a perception check. Roll for bear spirit. 14. You do see, like, kind of wandering around near the uh, near the river, that there is like this big ghost grizzly bear just kind of um, snorf snorkeling around, looking for fish in the river. Oh, guys, his spirit's over there. Well, maybe I no. can save him. Um, we could put water on him and see if it rehydrates him. Uh, yeah, it might help a little bit. Uh, I don't have any like magical means of getting water, so I'll just pour like a. You guys are like by the shoreline. We could just lift him and bring him over there and put him in it and see what happens. We could totally true. lift a grizzly bear, right? The three of us. I could. Can you? I think I could. Can he? Do you? I guess it's kind of like three quarters of a grizzly bear. Yeah. Travis also has 23 strength, I think. Is it 23 now? Supposed to be 23, yeah. Yeah, cool. What does this effect disable? Oh, I have to disable the effect to edit it. No, I got it. Don't worry. Thank you. Anyway. Um, yeah, Travis is immensely strong. He could probably, probably do it. Want to do it then, I'm not Laura? saying he's, like, swinging this thing above his head, but, like, dragging it to the river? Definitely. Yeah, and... yeah okay, it's, well, a, it's an effort, but, like, I... it can be done. I'll help by pushing its butt. I worry about, like, dragging it if I'm trying to revive it, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make it small. Oh, that's smart. You're smart. Yeah. Favorite spell. Now we bring the small grizzly bear to the water and plunk it in. Okay. But I don't want to drown um, it, so I'm not putting its whole head in there. I'm just. <laughs> uh, from what you can tell, it is very much dead. So I, it's. Um, you is know, this I don't... recently dead? Uh, it's really difficult to tell. That was a really good medicine check. I would say you uh, do notice that there's not like any accelerated signs of rot or decay or anything um and the fact that there was no like other wounds other than like this hole in its chest this like very large hole um like no other animals have really been at it or anything so you can tell it's probably pretty recent um uh 
Like definitely within the last couple hours. Hours, yeah. Mm. If I could speak Grizzly Bear, cast Speak with Dead. We could ask him. Can you cast Speak with Dead on me? Or is it just for yourself? I don't know. It doesn't What's... really specify. I feel like Does your it's... spirit host deal? Yeah, my spirit you're a ghost? speech. My spirit speech or I can cast Speak with Dead once a day. It says I can cast it. But I don't know if it... I feel like it probably means just me. Uh, oh, it's only for you. Looking at yeah. the speak with this. Um, okay. It's not a humanoid, so I can't reincarnate it. Um, oh, I got here. Hold on. Do, 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 <laughs> and do, it's been do, dead do. for longer than a minute, so I can't surgery. Hmm. Well, I guess it's just dead. I don't agree. <laughs> You don't agree. You don't. Think you don't it's agree. Dead. It seems to be dead. Its spirit is fishing. It's looking. Over there. It's looking pretty dead. It's, it's a contender for the undead bear fat contender week. It's got a big ass hole in it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, when I say like it's a big ass hole, I mean like this is a like your bathroom garbage can like. I like, mean, the circumference of that thing is... Now just... it's a small hole, because it's a small bear. Fair? In proportion to its body, it is a large <laughs> hole. Yeah. How long does this bear stay small, Chip? Uh, like, ten minutes or something? I don't know. One minute? Oh, uh, one minute. <laughs> At this point, it's like food At for our pals. At this point, it's probably a big bear again. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't think I can, uh... Cool. We can have bear way. meat. Can I start harvesting it for bear I meat? I want to eat from this thing. I don't know. Very if this is like, it. Yeah, this is like a very dehydrated. It's going to be jerky. Um, You could potentially, yeah. Give it a shot. You can do survival check. Try to like harvest something out of it. We don't know how it died. What if that giant circle is. Oh, God, that's the third time in a row. Sick. You know, sick. it doesn't take you. You've, you've broken down animals before. You've basically roughly chopped chop at it until you have carryable pieces and off you go you know nothing special are there speaking of animals um are there any animals nearby uh make a perception like check flies around this thing uh with your very good passive perception i can tell you that there's um like minimal flies around it not like uh it's been here a really huge amount of time um there's like uh, your normal amount of birds going on overhead. Um, nothing really standing out there. Uh, you have noticed that there's not like, it would be normally super common to see some kind of like predator activity, um, like some sort of wolf or, you know, like a, a bear or something like that. Since you've been walking along so far, you guys haven't noticed like anything like that. Um, it seems like, there's plenty of uh, like deer-like creatures and stuff like that, like um, your your more like herbivore creatures, but uh, a lot of the like predator animals aren't aren't around. Okay, can I flag down the closest and also largest uh, animal in the vicinity? I'm gonna use speak with animals. And ask them some questions. Oh, I'm looking for something with like some amount of intelligence. <laughs> the most that I can get that's also close by. Yeah, there's a crow in that tree over there. See it? Uh, there is actually a large, a large crow uh, that is about. I, I want to say about the size of like a minivan. Whoa. Um, this like it's it's very clearly like uh, you guys have seen um like rocks before like you, you're familiar with very large birds this is this is more of like a, a crow type rock a little smaller than uh like your standard eagle variant rock which are like the size of dragons this guy only a uh itty bitty minivan 
sized uh, bird is just kind of hunkered down in a tree above you, um, looking down at you as you are poking away at this bear corpse. Hey, uh, buddy. I'll eh. trade you some shinies for some information. I don't know who you are, but I love you. Yeah, come here, and I'll hold out my <laughs> arm for him to, like, land uh, on. You're gonna hold out your arm for the this, minivan okay. to land uh, on? Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> he's the size of a minivan, Owen, so he will kill you. But his bones <laughs> are made of, like, if hollow, <laughs> they're still probably light. <laughs> Probably weighs less than me. Oh, that's... <laughs> I that is delightful. How would he fly? I'm pulling the he physics flies. card on you. <laughs> Big wingspan. What do you want from mm -hmm. me? Magic bird. <laughs> oh lord. Well, uh, I could yeah. probably hold him up. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think you could. I and I could they? I, I'm with all oh, of this one. They have hollow bones. I don't want that bird anywhere near me. I'm made of pumpkin. They tend to eat those. Oh, Lord. I'm made of rats. <laughs> this is, you know, shockingly not the stupidest we've ever been. But we're <laughs> we're up there. Yeah, remember um, that anyway. one time Travis wanted that Adele song to be in a James Bond? Yeah, movie? that was pretty good. I am an idiot, but it's true. <laughs> You're not. I love you. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, it, but the bird lands on Chip's shoulder. Uh, nice. probably, yeah, no, no, no issue whatsoever. Um, you're all very impressed. Fuck, I didn't uh, know that strong, Chip. <laughs> Actually, quite late. Yeah, no, I, the bird, bird's now offended that you guys are all assuming their weight, but, you know. Um... Okay, okay, okay. Shinies? Shinies. Yeah, you I'll hand shinies? him... Shinies. I'll hand him, uh, like, a seven gold pieces. My most polished gold pieces. Uh, do you just, like, open palm, like, dog so, uh, treat style? I am, but I'm gonna close it as he, like, reaches in to grab it and be like, hmm. but first, questions. Deal? They look at you like they kind of uh, pull their head way back and like raise an eyebrow. Um, can you make? Uh, I'll let you choose between persuasion and animal handling. I am a known purveyor of deals. Very good, very good. As am I. Well, known for that. I was just wondering if you had seen what happened to this bear over here. It seems so unnatural. I've been watching him for two hours and he hasn't moved. I thought he was going for a record. Did you see the creature that put a hole in it? I thought the bear had given birth, although I, I suppose it has come out the wrong end for that. Interesting. Also, that looks to be a male bear. So, my bad. Okay. Second look. Hmm. Um. Hey. Have you? How did the bear it gave birth? I can't understand this conversation. Never mind. I got questions. Have you seen any uh, like outposts, buildings, not natural kind of situations going on anywhere in the vicinity as you've been flying around? Hmm. Metal men have been walking and leaving terrible, terrible footprints. There's no design to them. They're just a square. Very uninteresting to look at. How rude. Are, is there a gaggle of them somewhere that they generally I, hang out? They seem to come and go from the north. A I little think. bit, maybe, towards the east. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, final question. I myself am very small, and you seem much more large than the average. Yes, I'm very strong, very powerful. How did you get like this? Well, I was born this way, you see. You were born uh, this large? Well, I mean, no, not immediately. Just my parents themselves are quite large, and so 
I am destined to grow even larger than I am now. Uh, that's pretty cool. I am but a baby boy. A sweet summer child, if you would. Now give me the gold! Alright, deal's a deal. I'll give him. He just eats the gold. That's gonna hurt. He ate it? <laughs> Worth it. What? Alright, well. Uh, you can hang around if you want, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. Were you expecting me to leave? I'm actually quite comfortable. Yeah, you can follow us or hang you out. You're like, trying to like walk around with him on your shoulder, but you just can't move because he's so large. He's like stuck between trees. Mm -hmm. I'm a permanent fixture now. This is your own hubris, motherfucker. <laughs> and the bird flies away. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Saw a shiny thing in the distance. Yep. Shiny! Oh, we have two directions now. What also, uh, he thought that bear gave birth, which I think is code, animal code, for it was like implanted with something that exploded out of them. Yeah. Like those movies, Alien. Yeah, the ones that I've been watching like. recently, I hate those movies. Uh -huh. I didn't say that that spaceship thing we were just on was like a alien thing either. Mm. Yeah. Um, there's metal men walking through the forest being weird. Uh, there's a gaggle of them from the north and the east of here. Yeah, okay. Uh... Likely the people from I'm assuming because we fucked up their facility, they're like out out and about and pissed off, probably, would be my guess. Um and he's big naturally. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, good for him. Yeah. Alright, so should we go see the weird men doing weird things? Is our is the cave where we left our uh, pet mounts um, from the north, yeah. the east, the south? Um, I would say, you know, you guys conveniently collect them probably minutes after this small event has happened. Uh, and you guys can pretty much head wherever you want from there. You'll say that was uh, from where you guys were, um, where the statue was. You guys were pretty much dead north of the statue, like where you had left the, like where the cave and everything was. Um, so the bird would have been directing you to, like, just straight northeast, essentially. It would have been north of Welch. Um, okay. So you guys could potentially, like, go back to Squelch and then go north if you wanted, or you could go straight northeast. That's a good idea. We could report back and tell them there's a handful of alien animals. Yeah, I feel like they kind of have a lot on their hands, though, like... They're probably just going to be like, okay, well, are you going to deal with it? <laughs> no, we were just planning on leaving them there, right? I'm kind of worried that we haven't found the thing we are looking for yet. What were we looking for again? The, the tool. Oh, yeah. Maybe they're just I need gone. to step away for just a minute while you guys decide, I guess, on what you're doing. Just one sec. Wait, what do you mean we haven't found the tool? Like, we found, like, four. But there was supposed to be, like, a big crop of them. Like, that was the initial problem we came to solve, right? It wasn't the underground facility that was making weird zombie things. Yeah, no. We, that was yeah. just a side thing. Well, I was just, we went that same direction, thinking that they made the jewel different, and they haven't made the jewel different. It's something yeah. else entirely. So we still don't know why the jewel are different. No, doesn't that facility, wasn't that making the tool different? No, there was not a single tool there was, in there. Yeah, there wasn't a single tool thing in there. There were oh, weird animals, which are kind of like tools. Tools in like the cryo thingies. Oh. Uh, no, there was the gold gas stuff that changed things, so I don't like Which maybe... I thought was related, because the tool were mutating to yeah. be super tool, but there was no super tool in there. Yeah, there was no tool in the thing, though. Yeah, so. Maybe they're hmm. all already super tool, and that was just going to be the next batch for the super tool babies. 
Potentially. My only worry... So I have a couple things. They could be separate events completely. Okay. Or there could be more than one facility. Mm. Where, like, That's the Chul will have their own thing. Where else would they hide something like that, though? And get that kind of technology. I mean, I didn't expect I didn't expect it in a statue in the water. <laughs> yeah, so like could be any of these know. trees. Could be, could be anything. When the DM comes back, they're gonna check a tree for aliens. I'm sorry, could you say that it. one more time? I You're said, gonna. When the DM comes sorry back, about that, guys. I'm gonna check a tree. For You're checking aliens. a tree for aliens. Okay. Yes. Which they like me. Any tree in particular, or did you have like one that looks particularly strange and maybe large? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. You don't find an alien. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I came prepared upon our level up, though. So <laughs> Chip is gonna pull out some uh, some rats from his pack. They've all got like those long beige jackets that detectives wear and mm -hmm. little hats um and they all have these like metal rods which they jam into the ground and they like extend them up really really high into the air above the trees and they sort of touch at the top and a, a blue light like comes together where they all connect at the top and then shoots out these like sound waves across um the, the forest don't worry, don't worry about it. And I'm I'm gonna ritually cast commune with nature. And I would like to find any tool. I would like to find any buildings. And uh, this is all within three miles. Three miles, yeah. So three miles is not like a ton of distance. However, uh, while you're like directly on the shoreline, it does give you a pretty good like idea for the tool. Um, you don't sense a single chul. God damn it! <laughs> no, like you got you like you you are near where you knew that they were, and you you cast this spell, and they are nowhere near you. Like they are, uh, they seem to have just disappeared from the shoreline. Any buildings? Uh, buildings. There's um, what is like the. It is to say, like any other, nat in caves and other natural zones, where you turn your feet. Uh, three facts of your choice. Yeah, I'm gonna go looking for tool, looking for buildings, and uh, influence from other planes of existence, like hell. Uh, do you have to specify the plane of existence? Don't, it doesn't say so, right? I it don't just... know. The example they give is more specific than the options I can choose. Like safe so, drinking water. <laughs> the thing that really uh, stands out to you is like, as, as you're looking around, you know, you are um, flabbergasted. There's no, no tool nearby. It doesn't make sense. Um, there's not really much in the way of buildings like you um you're kind of near where that tunnel was uh but it it went so far that like you only really have a sense of like yeah there was the tunnel um you kind of see like the you sense like those trebuchet that were there kind of falling under that same umbrella um and you do sense actually a few other trebuchet further down the shoreline that were uh like seemingly being worked on just out of vision, but there's no tool anywhere near them. Um, but then you look up, uh -oh. and cutting across the sky, um, there is just this. It's lit up by like those rays that your your rats are shooting at, and it just looks almost like um, a huge smoke trail. Like something has. Uh, torn through and left a path in the sky that you are now lighting up, but is not there to like your naked eye. I will relay that information to my friends. Um, when you do so, it kind of clicks that it's it's following along kind of the same trajectory, uh, Laura, that you had seen that meteor fall before. 
Meteors are the space aliens. The meteors are ripping portals between planes. These meteors, they're on oh, fire man. when they fall down, you said, Laurel? Yeah. Hmm. It all makes sense. Well, didn't we talk to that fire giant lady? Didn't she say the place she came from was in the sky and it was on fire? Didn't she yeah. mention something to that effect? Didn't, didn't Jasper also say something about some scary coming when the fire things fall from the sky? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't uh, Jasper. It was the... Uh, There's like a, an old lady. Oh, yes. The old town poop. Sorry. Still, yes. So that seems correct. So... Like our... Uh... Like... Maybe we should go check out these fireballs falling from the sky i think now we should things. go back and let them know okay yeah i agree that's a fair assessment at this point onward okay we're going <laughs> um okay i'm gonna use that uh that travel mechanic again um because this is just like a multi-day journey where you guys you guys know where you're going so it's a pretty easy one for you uh that being said there's some there's still like unknown elements um so i'm gonna i'm gonna sort of skip the preparation phase because you guys actually you know what no i'm not uh when you guys are um like getting together uh and getting ready to go uh can you guys tell me like what specifically you're going to be uh doing like are you like what you're taking lead on uh like what you're specifically looking for what you're keeping eye out for uh and just like kind of one thing each i'm keeping my eye out for aliens and i'm making sure that we're not too loud while we're doing it so the aliens don't notice us i would be looking for tracks with a keen eye on like big metal man foot tracks okay i'm just gonna make sure we're going the right way <laughs> fair yeah this is probably smart considering i'm looking for aliens and your eyes to the track. sky he's looking down oh no I'll look where we're going the trees have the aliens you guys have the weather gods on your side every time <laughs> Dang, no wind, no no rain. Um, what a beautiful day for a walk. I'm enjoying this tempid weather. Good, good. Okay, so who wants to uh, go first? I can go first. Okay, the DC for this is just 12. Um, and you got to roll, uh, I think yours, you said you're keeping an eye out for aliens specifically? And trying to be like making sure that we're quiet while we're traversing so that the aliens don't see okay. us so do you want to roll stealth yes okay <laughs> but i'm still looking for aliens while i'm yep. stealthy about it are you sure are mm -hmm. uh yeah you you are certain that you're like you're not you are uh very confident that you're not being tracked uh by anything that uh <laughs> would track you aliens. through mundane means Good. Um, so aliens might still be doing it. They're not necessarily mundane. You don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's who's next? I can be next. So I think yours would be probably, I'd say, survival or perception. Oh. Uh, you know, it, it's that 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 damn tinfoil hat keeps going down over top of your eyes every time you look down <laughs> trying to trying to get the uh trying to get a, a lay for a lay on the all the um <laughs> still the that wildlife thing. in the area and yeah. you know that tinfoil hat man uh all right uh travis can you do yours as well what do you want from me uh yours would probably be who Owen, what did you roll? Perception. Perception? Okay, Travis, yours would be survival, probably. Mm. 
We broke the streak. Let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, this is an easy trip for you. You know, you've not only done the trip before, you've probably done similar trips in this area a dozen times. Um, so with that, uh, I want Travis, you're the last one to roll. So just go ahead and roll a d20 for me. It didn't even roll. Seven. <laughs> It just uh, it just fell down onto the table. <laughs> oh, so somewhere along the way, uh, Travis, you can describe this for me. Actually, uh, you guys find a cache of lost goods or coins or a mixture of both. Travis, what do you find? Wait, say that again. You uh, stumble upon like somebody has like a either forgotten or you know hidden or lost cache of lost goods or or coins. Uh, you can be a combination of them. Um, I just, I just want you to tell me, like, what do you, what do you guys find? Like, uh, what do you find just kind of as a, a hidden, uh, trove on the side of the road? You just get a treat? You, you know, um, um, a scroll of wish! Scroll of two wishes, actually! Uh, An entire deck uh, of many things. You know, you know what? I... I want us to have found some of that asshole dwarf stuff back in t from back in town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want some of this uh, shit. Yeah. You find very specifically it's like a trade ledger where he's like written down for the area like he will come here and this is like where he would kind of refresh himself on his customers in the area. He would come to like these uh, little hideaway uh stockpile things and you just happen to find one um in it it's got like there's a there's a couple like sets of reserve rations um there's a good 25 gold uh in there as well uh there's a knife like a just kind of like a general use hunting carving knife um and just that that ledger with a pencil I like knives. Yeah, you do like knives. I like knives. Take out the knives. Oh, take the knife. Thank you. I Chip, can I have knife. you study this ledger? I feel like you nice. might be better at it. I can try. <laughs> take, take a look. Uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Yeah, I'm not good at investigation. I'm not either, but you're a banker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a history. History. Um, you flip through this, Owen, and immediately catching your eye are at least like four different cases of like tax evasion through Pell specifically by this motherfucker. Ooh, hey, I'm taking his family when we get back. <laughs> Close the book, put in my pocket. Ah, uh, justice, <laughs> justice. Can I like check this knife? Is it just a knife? Uh, it's like a nice crocodile Dundee style. Oh. Like knife, but That's it's awesome. not. It's, it is. It is just a knife. It would do a foot. Sorry. Would it do a foot? It, it would. It would do a foot. Yeah, okay. it would take off a foot for you. If that's cool. what you're asking. Thank you. Well, guys, this would do a. Foot. Laura, you better watch out. Mm. Come for your feet. Hey, I I have successfully orchestrated finding some bullshit about this asshole dwarf. I'm good. <laughs> um, so you guys are at this point approaching, uh, approaching the gates of Squelch. Um, let me switch the music over.
Um, so pretty much right away, you know, you're maybe 25 feet out before they recognize you and the gates are already starting to open. The drawbridge comes down over the moat. Um, and there's the guards that kind of just signal you, signal you off. It's very, um, it's not very strict, uh, out here. Uh, they are a, a lot looser than the, maybe the guards in the city because they're not like actual guards, um, under the government. These guys work for Loro, so, uh, you know, it's pretty central. Anyway, they uh, they let you guys on through, um, but you guys see that there's... Uh, it, lo it looks like a very large salamander has been, like, carted in. Um, it's actually taken, like, two, two, uh, two carts that have been, like, strung up together. Um... Loro, you'd recognize this as a uh, a behir, or I, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's very large, like kind of lightning salamander, oh, cousin okay. of a dragon almost, but more of like a, a swamp salamander. I um, finally found an alien. Look it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what, not quite. What catches you guys' eye about this thing is it has uh, another one of those holes, in it. but it's got. Um, the the hole in this one seems to be like bigger. Oh. Uh but you see like all the hunters are kind of around it and they're starting to like take it apart for, you know, their multiple multiple uses for this thing. Uh but you see them all like actively avoiding the hole and just conversation happening of like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck did this. I don't want <laughs> we don't want to touch like that particular part. Uh just in case. You might get a case of the whole itis. Uh, but what do you what do you guys go and do? Wait, I'm sorry, I these are like our kind of people hunters or they're like Yeah, these are these are like the, the hunters that work in Squelch. Like these guys are Okay. Like the half of the goings on in this in this like little settlement are just hunters. Uh because they need to you know, they, they hunt for not only food, but, like, materials that they use for hunting other things. Uh, because they, this is, like, a big, um, kind of, like, a defensive point uh, for mm -hmm. Pell. Should we go talk to your friends, Loro? Yeah, I'm thinking so. I also don't like that there keeps being holes in things. We could Can send I a writer to Pell. Give them a test, make sure that you trained them well, Laura. Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? We don't want to make sure your men are on alert all, at all times and can notice when there's a creepy pumpkin sneaking up on them? No, because A, you're an exemplary person uh, at that, oh, and true. well beyond their means. And then, B, they're currently studying a thing I don't know anything about. So uh, don't Owen, distract what did you them. I said maybe we could send a rider to Pell so we don't have to make our way all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, that's something you guys certainly get. Well, <laughs> what do oh. you, what kind of message are you looking to send? Um, I would inform the writer about, I, I would want a group of two, first of all, pairs. I would tell them about the facility we found, the jewel catapult situation, which seems no longer a problem. The jewel are like completely MIA. And then the, uh, hell update probably being from... We have reason to be to believe that it's coming from the meteors streaking through the sky. So I found residue of planar existence in the sky. Okay. Um, plane fuckery going on here. So yeah, you. it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, these guys are happy to do it because it's in service of Pell. Uh, so, you know, they, they take off. Uh, can I have you roll a d20 and add 5 to it for me? Are we rolling for broken telephone? Uh-oh. 
Very good. Okay, yeah, the guys take off, and you can expect that uh, message to be delivered within the next week. Cool. Um, other than that, do you, is there anyone you guys go, like, seek out to speak with? Uh, specifically? That guy that stole his drugs here? Wolgen? Yep. Uh, I mean, <laughs> he's he is within Squelch, if that's what you're asking. Is he, like, close by, or is it going to take me forever to find him? Would you like to go speak to the man you stole from? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> no, I just want to know his whereabouts. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> you just, you gotta keep, you gotta track these motherfuckers, they're not trustworthy. You stole from him! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you know what? I am gonna go talk to him. I have a question. <laughs> Very good. Now, weirdly, I did plan for this, so let me flip over. To oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you know that that was gonna be the one I chose? Because you lead a life of sin, Katie. It's true. I'm gonna sneak up on him though and try to spook him. Yeah, you're okay. You're gonna sneak up on him. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm that presuming... thing that Laura told me not to do. I'm gonna go do it. So. Okay. Uh, <gasps> while you're doing that, Laura and Chip, can you guys tell me what you were each doing? <laughs> oh, and you're kind of handling like sending off uh, riders. Is there another thing that you're maybe like? There's a specific person you want to speak to, Travis. Did you have like someone you wanted to go speak with? Uh, no, no one to speak with specifically. I think I'm going to try and, with the hunters, coordinate what the hell happened to yeah. that, with that whole maybe so, band together. So maybe go speak with Huntmaster Willow to, like, the like, person who leads the hunts? Is that, does that work? Sure, yeah. Cool. I'd, I'd like to speak to my uh, merry band of werewolf fighters. Freedom fighters. I need help. Oh, vampires. I don't... Sorry, vampires. Not werewolves. <laughs> Got the two mixed. Oh, I'm, I'm. I need you to understand. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? I'm so old. <laughs> so in Squelch, I spoke with a person, and there was a person next to them, and I gave them both wooden stakes and told them about. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. About the, the I remember vampires. this. Yeah, that's really okay. funny because that's yeah. one of the things I wanted to ask the guy about was vampires. <laughs> I'd like to check up on them. <laughs> Want well, to see how far their work is... Uh, Want well, to see if they've committed murder in the time yeah, that we've gone. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Can we we'll please do, do, we'll do Owens things. first? No, I we'll need Owens to go first. Owens first. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it's no. <laughs> sequential order. You, you, sequential. <laughs> what does sequential order mean? Katie, then you, then me. The <laughs> sequence in which we said our things. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, how about a uh, sequential order of the uh, last person goes first? Huh? How about that? <laughs> okay, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm calling for secondary Rollsies. By the way, well, I got actually Katie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right, Travis. Okay. Stick. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> So I won Rosie's, therefore I get to pick the order, right? Now, we didn't specify, <laughs> which is why I was kind of like, ah, actually, I don't know. Uh, but, uh... No, it's okay. You know, we can either way, up. Chip isn't Just going go first. first. <laughs> I will go first. Go for it. Uh, I'm sneaking up on the guy. What's All his right, name roll, again? Roll, uh, Wolgen. Wolgen. I'm scaring the shit out of my people. Hopefully. Hopefully. What's he doing when I sneak up to him with my 29? You see, he has, like, this freshly wrapped up sandwich that he's just gotten from, like, the cafeteria. Dope. That he, it's, like, got, uh, it's got, like, the parchment paper and tin foil wrap up. It's, like, a steamed sandwich. He looks incredibly excited, this sandwich. I throw uh, a rock. To distract him from the sandwich and then scooch it and grab it and then just sit beside him with it in my hands. 
And when he turns around, I'll make a comment about, did you get mayonnaise on this? <laughs> How much Tylenol is too much Tylenol? <laughs> I think uh, it's one every four hours, isn't it? Two, maybe? <laughs> Not the maybe kind he has. Over. His is two every eight. Yeah, that's one every four. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so, uh, a few things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to make you roll for the rock thing. That's fine. You throw the rock, the guy, dude gets distracted, uh, you know, fucking Metal Gear Solid style, puts a sandwich down. It's like, who goes there? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but then getting up and, uh, you know, scooping up, taking a sandwich, I want that to be, we'll call that a sleight of hand. No problem, boss. Yeah, you you know, swing yourself up onto the onto the bench that he's set, seated on. He's like alone. There's like a couple flowers around him. He's just having a nice afternoon. And, and now uh, I'm checking a sandwich for me. And yeah, and you know, he he has he has murdered this motherfucker with mayonnaise. Uh, this is it, it. It this the sandwich almost qualifies as like a, a soup. At this point, but it, it is heavily, heavily covered in mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Does he say anything when he turns around and sees you sitting there holding a sandwich, checking for mayonnaise? Um. Or does he shoot me? Because that would be if I was. I was. Also. I was just rolling a d20 yeah. plus five. That was a critical hit. Yeah. So he does shoot you. Yeah. And it does hit. Good old fuck around and find out. He just pulls out his uh, his old hand crossbow. Maximum, <laughs> yeah. He just straight up like shoots you in the shoulder, and he just uh, slowly reaches in and tries to like pry the sandwich out of your hand. I was just gonna give it back to you. I just want to know you were eating for lunch. Here you go. You didn't have to shoot me. I don't know who you are. My this is my sandwich. Is the You're pumpkin fuck around with my that's not a name. I don't know who's told you that is a name, but that is not actually a name. Fine, Whoever my told title you that name is, is the pumpkin. Has done you a disservice, quite frankly, ma'am. Play you're, by the books. You're... Huh? I can tell you play by the books. I, that is patently untrue. I've just shot you for the grand theft of having taken my sandwich, which, by the way, I require the other half as well. Do not hide it behind your back, for I have more faults. I fork over the entire sandwich. Okay, very good. Now, you will tell Wolgan. Why 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 have you come for Wolgan's sandwich? In fact, <laughs> this sort of makes sense. Why does it make sense? I thought I spelled pumpkin just a few days ago when my good stuff went missing. Hmm. That's hmm. funny. Mayhaps Maybe. it's the same thief? Come for Wolgan? Come for Wolgan's goods? Maybe you were sitting near a pumpkin patch. I don't know. I've been away for the last few days. Hey, you got any knowledge about the man in the lake? You know anything about that? Okay, can you roll a, a persuasion check for, for Wolgan? Wolgan dislikes you. Wolgan will be leaving now. Good night. And he just, Wolgan, as he's, can we start as he's, <laughs> can we, can, can we, we start be over? friends? I, Wolgan is confused. Explain to Wolgan. I just want to have a chat. You seem to be the only other person in town that has skills up to snuff to catch the scent of a pumpkin while she steals your good stuff. Not saying that I did. Just not. Wol Wolgan is more confused. <laughs> I just wanted to have a chat with you, cause you look cool, and I thought you might know some information that maybe could help the town. But I guess you don't like the town. Is Jack o' Lantern flirting with Wolgan? Wolgan is confused. <laughs> Wolgan is gonna go. Goodbye. Have a good night. But, but Wolgan, you, do you know anything about the statue in the lake? Is this? It's a statue in the lake. What do you want from me? Well, now it's gone. 
What? Did you see that? Did no. I tell you? No, what? What the fuck are you talking about? That happened like today. <laughs> well, this is retarded. You're drunk. I'm. I'm, I'm not drunk. You need oh, to fuck. look. Go check. It's not there anymore. It's just a handful of animals that are Jesus. aliens. Jesus. In fact, <laughs> oh, hold on. Actually, oh. I thought you'd like to know about a prime hunting uh, place. The a second bolt like I'm ready ricochets for it. off I your feet. Dodge it. <laughs> oh my god. Logan is leaving. And Logan leaves. Uh Travis. Get to the vampires. <laughs> Travis. Yeah. There was no blood on that sandwich, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably a little bit. I mean, the the guy's a uh, lizard man and he probably likes his meat relatively rare. Hmm, I gotta keep an eye on that one. Uh, That's so, fair. Huntmaster Willow is, uh, kind of al alongside you inspecting, um, the, uh, carcass left behind after, uh, they've harvested most of it. Um, it's, like, the central torso, uh, like, cavity, uh, has just been completely, em almost emptied out. Um, with first inspection, the, you realize that, like, it's got similarly very very heavily uh dehydrated almost exsanguinated mm -hmm. um, there's no uh all, all of like the vital organs are just gone you know uh, there's lungs gone heart gone liver kidneys gone everything gone um and there it's just like some something has gone in with a a, a circle shaped saw and just uh with a fine tooth saw taken out the the center of this thing um before draining it dry mm. there's no like can you make can... a survival sorry go ahead i was gonna say uh the survival check's fine hold up <laughs> I'll, I'll do that because Love it. Um, so, looking at this thing, there's no, like, sign of uh, poison or anything. like, Or rather, like, any sort of venom or any of that. Okay. Am I able to determine if it can't, like, because it's lost a lot of its internal organs, but did the wound come from outside in or inside out? Um... I I would say roll a medicine check for that. It rolled over the fifteen. Like near impossible to say. Like you you you've you've never seen anything burrow out like this. But you know, who's to say? You you've you've never seen anything like it. Dang. Well, you ever see anything like this? Um. Sometimes with wasps. Well, something similar. Wasps? Well, you know, they'll... They're young, they'll plant them on other things. Mm. But this is... You know, they don't really have this sort of teeth, and they certainly don't, you know, get that fucking big, and she kind of gesticulates her hand in a big circle. So I'm I'm voting against wasp, but you know, I would I would vote in the favor of something parasitic. Yeah, we are we are thinking inside out, eh? Something I I couldn't tell you, but I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm not and, too sure the specifics, but have you run into anything else with this sort of wound? Uh, we ran into a grizzly bear. Out, out, out there before we got back, that uh, ex pretty much identical. Any differences in it, or was it just like one to one? This is a, just a big circle hole. Was there any difference? I don't think so. Right? No, 
No, I don't. I don't, I, don't think so. I don't think there was any difference. It was they were dried out like fully. It seemed maybe a bit more. Yeah, it it all uh, all lines up actually. Okay, well, I mean, at least we know what we're looking for. Kind of, I guess, something with a big fucking circle mouth. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's probably yeah. how that works, right? Circle mouth. Circle hole. Circle mouth. Okay. okay. Is that? I'm sorry. Did I? Did I? Did I okay. do wrong? Okay. Did, my, just... did was circle mouth not the right answer, Mister Loro, sir? What? How? As opposed to what other mouth? I I don't like. I don't know. I did some some fuckers have beaks. What do you want from me? Those are like triangular. Hmm. Or you ever seen uh, what? What are those things called? The the weird leech things with the lamprey. I wouldn't say those are circular. Those are more like... Actually, you know, if, any, if anything, I would call that exactly circular. I would actually agree with you on that a, one. For a cookie cutter type of... Cookie cutter shark type of vibe. That's a good idea. I hate those fuckers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well maybe... We don't have anything around then but that we know of that causes that. This? No. No. No, not here. No, the worst you get out here is, uh, wow. You know, there's our fair share of weird tentacle creatures out in the swamp. They, you know, are pretty much persistent. We can never really get rid of them, but they, uh, you know, mostly leave us alone. Uh, then there's the. Your normal fauna, uh, wolves, deer. Um, there's some larger stuff out there, absolutely, but like uh, too many, too many of it to list off, and nothing that you're not aware of, and nothing, none of it has this. Hmm. All right. Oh, I'm gonna go do some thinking then. Maybe can be my house before we go. Try and find this thing, potentially. All right. Oh, um, I guess one last thing. We uh, we got a report um, from just some of our scouts that they had seen some large, like, metal, sh metal man-shaped things. Like, these things, I want to say 15, 20 feet tall. Uh, big, boxy-looking motherfuckers. Uh but there, there's one of them that uh, got, like, blades attached to its arms, and it seems to be able to fly. Mm -hmm. uh, the other ones don't seem to be doing that. But, um, yeah, we, we didn't honestly get too much on them. Um, there was something that you, you mentioned streaked across the sky the other night, and that we had sent scouts out there to take a look. And all as they, you know, they saw these big metal men and you know kind of got spooked and you know turned around and decided you know i don't want to die today to giant metal men which is fair i don't i don't fault them for that little miffed i don't know if you could tell yeah no that's fair um hmm because we fought like mechanical wasps in the thing didn't we okay yeah fight. <laughs> anyway, so, I, I didn't have too many, yeah, I don't have too many other details other than that having happened. But you know, more to think about, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Well, if anything new arises, do let me know. We'll do. Alrighty. Uh, and Owen, you went off to find your anti-vampire cult. Yeah, I'd like to sneak up on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. Um, you tell me where are you finding these guys? Um, so they were just like outpost men, just kind of hanging out. So yeah. I'm gonna look for them on shift. Uh, you see two of them. Uh, they are. You know, you kind of watch them from from a distance for a little bit, 
as uh, they're just on their patrols. Um, and you notice that there's a point in the patrol where they get together and they pass, and you can see them um, speaking to each other as they go past, but they're, like, attempting to be kind of secretive about it. You see them, like, trying not to look at each other. They're doing the straight-up cartoony turn-your-mouth sort of towards them to speak. Mm -hmm. Um... But other than that, they uh, they seem to be trying to like not really acknowledge one another. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to find one that is like close to things I could hide behind. I'm gonna cloak up so I'm completely hidden, and then I'm gonna try and sneak up on on him. Okay, so there's a uh, one point where one of them goes up a set of stairs and goes to walk along the wall, and there's along the wall. There's like a bunch of crates of like crates and boxes all stacked up for you know full of various supplies, and you're pretty you know small and able to pretty much hide behind one of those very easily as he's like part way through his patrol. Yeah, I'm gonna get up right up next to him, and I'm ready for him to like swing out and try and kill me for okay. the record. So I'm preparing for that reaction, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna go, haha. <laughs> <laughs> and like go out and like do spooky <laughs> hands. <laughs> Can you roll an intimidation <laughs> check for me, Owen? <laughs> uh, yeah, you you jump out and he does like an immediate like like very high pitched squeal and like jump back before going like, oh, okay. Unnecessary. So I, I go up immediately and grab him by the like loose his clothes, <laughs> no, like his shirt, yeah. and I go, "I've tested your metal, and you have been found wanting. The night is young, and our enemies are too. How are preparations going? We've, we, um, we've been waiting your your um your your signal, sir. Um, we didn't exactly clarify on what that was before you left, so kind of we've been kind of guessing." Very good. You'll, default, you'll know when it happens. Starts. Uh, but we, um, we've, I, I believe, um, I believe we've collected uh, a specimen, sir. Oh my god! Wonderful news. And where are you keeping this creature? Oh, we just told her to like go to her room. She was under arrest, you know. Said, you know, hey, go to your room or you go to jail. That was it what yeah no like this is a pretty out of the way settlement most people don't like well they, they, you know if they were to just go out they would just die to the wilderness so pretty easy just tell people like hey don't do that go to go to your room or else haha <laughs> um so yeah she's just been up in her room the last couple of days okay cool have you oh, okay, cool. have you <laughs> six, 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 six. have you spread the word to others Oh, uh, no, I thought we were keeping this a little hush-hush. Um, we are, but it's more the thing where, like, everyone should know, but no one should talk about it to each other. Oh, like, if I... Cl- mm. I give him a look. Mm. 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 I'm not here, but... Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I know just the thing you're speaking of. Wonderful. <laughs> Which room are they kept in? I'd like to take a look. Um, I think that they were just staying in the barracks with everyone else. They're just, you know, they're still working, technically. They, they just so they sleep and work in the same room. Oh, uh, what was her name? Uh, Marin? I think it was Marin. Marin. Well, cool. Yeah, good, good work, son. I'll pat him on the shoulder. You keep uh, you, do, doing your thing. And I put up my cloak and I get on all fours and I scurry yeah. away like a snake. As you like are patting him, he like takes your hand and kisses the back back of your hand. It's like, thank you, sir. Mwah. It's it's not it's not good. It's moist. Okay, okay I'll <laughs> shake off the <laughs> excess and get out of there. Uh, <laughs> there was a crumb, Owen. There was a crumb. Good God. Uh. As you're walking away, you see him like as he's meeting up with the other guy on the patrol again, and he's like throwing like a fangirl <laughs> moment. <laughs> I just met him again, and uh, very excited for uh, yeah. to continue on. 
Uh, and what, do you go take off towards the room? Is that what you're doing? No, I, I would find my other two. My okay. Groups. So you managed to collect them shortly. Uh, probably, I, th- I think you'd probably find Loro first, because he didn't really move. He, he was, like, right where, you know, that uh, carcass was. Uh, but then you guys would probably both turn and see just Briar walking around the corner with, like, half a sandwich that she just managed to steal at the last second and, like, an arrow still on her shoulder. Normal yeah. stuff. Uh, I'm happy as a clam, too, with it. Did you... Can I make an insight check? Did you... Yeah. After I said not to sneak up on my people, did you... Did you do that? We both did that. Yeah, but I, I never expected that out of you. <laughs> I just went got a sandwich. I just got a say sa- I just went- I was hungry, I went and got a sandwich. Why are you asking so many questions? You have an arrow in your shoulder. Collateral damage! F- who- What? Now, Travis, think back on Loro's younger years. Do you think he hasn't had a night just like this over a sandwich? <sighs> That's a fair point, conscience of mine. Chip Very well, I won't ask sandwich. you about what you do on your nights. Thank you. Or with whom. Thank you. Thank Let you. us go. Chip, is there blood in this sandwich? Do you see a lot of blood? Should we be concerned? That's the daily special, the blood mayo soup sandwich. Said who? Who said that? Oh, and just now that was Owen speaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Okay. Have, I have business that I'd like your both of your uh, attendants for. Oh, what's the business? Can sure. I bring my sandwich? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, no questions for me. Let's go. No, I'll tell you. Okay. It. Uh, there's been whispers amongst people mm-hmm. of vampire activity. It's true. I saw Uh-oh. a jar of blood in the back room of that place that I stole the bomb from. The I, and I have stuff. reason reason to believe one of our uh, people have some sort of connection to it in this establishment outpost. Oh, Marin, specifically. Let's go get her. Oh. Okay. Do we have steaks? Oh, I've got steaks. Yeah, do you want ribeye, sirloin? I already have a sandwich. I'll see myself out. I think I think they're like normal though. I think they're just like a normal person who's been infected with the poison. Oh, okay. Well, how do you want to how do you want to take care of this? Like, what's... I, don't know, I, really, I have no idea to be honest. I was gonna oh. sort of assess it once we get there. I mean, we can walk in there, can hit hit them with the zone of truth, and we can just we can just ask. But I mean, yeah. they could just avoid the questions. I'd like to talk to them normally to get a sort of feel for their energy before we come in sort of hard. Okay, so we're not being inquisitors here. I get it. Yeah. Wait. Charles, I'd like to find Marin. Okay. Well, it's very simple to find a room because, again, it's just like in the central barracks. Um, You know, you go to the front desk. Stay in a room and she just stayed in a room? Presumably. Huh. So, you guys... Go up to the barracks, you know, ask for which room is which, and get right directed down to, it's the top floor uh, on, like, the far right side in the back. Um, and go right up to the door. Do you guys open or do you guys knock? What's 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 your what's your entry looking like? This is, like, a public place, right? Uh, well, no, these are, like, individual rooms in the uh. barracks. Uh, where that. like each room is shared by like a couple people usually, but depending on the person. I'll Sorry, knock. you said you knock. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. You knock. Knock away. Knock. 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 And uh, there's no no response. Mm. Is there anyone like around just by happenstance? Coming out of their rooms or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. There's people coming and going pretty much all day. There's, uh, like, someone a couple doors down is just leaving right now as they as they go. 
Um, hey, uh, have you seen Marin? You know where they are? Um, I think they were supposed to stay in the room. As far as I was told, I don't. Know, I haven't. I haven't seen her leave, and no one's seen her around. So, uh, presumably, she's in there. If you knock, knock louder, a little louder, or if you go back down to the front desk, they have uh, keys for all the rooms. I'd like to pick the lock. <laughs> yeah, that is also an option. I mean, I'm not a cop, so I mean, I guess I am kind of a cop, but I'm not like a pretty, I'm not that kind of cop. You know, I'm not a cop. Cop. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Oh, you're my boss. That didn't look good. That I'm double mm. gonna go. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> We're just gonna put that one in the notes. You're with them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Katie, it takes you like a second, and you pop you pop the door open, uh, and inside you see that they like I it's yell, oh. police. We're coming in. Just in case, <laughs> we have a warrant. That's legal. <laughs> Which part? There, I think a couple of that yeah. was. Laura, legal. you see a couple other rooms, like people run out of the room and run from the door as this is being yelled. Uh, <laughs> this town is a bunch of. Oh, okay, all right. Um, but and on on the inside, you like the all the windows and everything are open, so the room is like flooded in sunlight. Uh, and there's just, it, it, like, the windows are all open. It doesn't look like there's really anybody in the room. Um, there's definitely signs that there's been somebody in the room relatively recently. I'm sniffing. Sniffing away, Owen? Yeah, I'm sniffing. I make sniffs. a perception check. I'm looking for cool knickknacks, as per huge. Um, Owen, oh, there's, like, a... a very strong scent of potpourri in this room. Um, specifically coming out of like one of the closets. There's uh like it smells like really intense perfumed potpourri. There's a dead body in here and I go and I open it. What? Yeah, you uh open a uh the closet ends up being like opening up into like it looks like she's uh like broken out the back wall and opened it into another room that's kind of like walled up on the inside and inside you see Marin just sitting at a table um playing solitaire with like a deck of cards uh Take surrounded wall to wall wall to wall there's like uh potpourri flowers have just been kind of like woven in um and she's sitting there just at a table with a single chair um there's nothing like on the walls other than like the the dried out flowers um just oh um hello Hey, are you sorry, okay? I uh, sorry, I just didn't hear you through the uh, through the door. Everything all right? Yeah, are are you okay? Uh, well, I mean, I was told I'm under house arrest. And I'm not super sure why. Um, but you know, so it's probably one of those nights where I drank a little too much and forgot what happened. So. Everyone has those here, and uh, why are you in the sure? Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not actually in the wall. I just converted the office here. You know, I just wanted my own little personal space. I get a little kind of over uh, overstimulated if I have like you know all the windows open and everything like that. Yeah, do you need the, permits the for this such too thing? Sunshiny. Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, permits for this sort of thing. Oh, yeah, because they in took out part? a wall. Um. In like a probably don't know. <laughs> Honestly, probably yeah. They probably do need a permit. So you renovated the area on your own? Um well I asked I asked um Willow and she said that nobody nobody really cared, so I um was I not supposed to? I I'm sorry, I didn't mean I don't mean to throw her under the bus at all. I just I, I, you know, I, my actions are my own. I just, um, sorry, did, did, did I do something I shouldn't have? Uh, typically you would need permission from the people or the body who owns the, the building. I see. Sorry. I, I thought I had got sought out request. Sorry. Uh, Miss, Mr. Loros or, uh, who, who are these people? 
Oh, these are close associates of mine. This uh, man, gentleman, rat, owns the, uh, or you do own the bank, right? Well, you run the bank. The city owns the bank. The city owns the bank. I'm merely a servant of the people. Like me, but more money-oriented. Listen, you won't be in any major problems. Honestly, I feel like it's more of an issue of uh, leadership rather than your own actions. I'm simply trying to understand the situation in full. Um, do you guys ha happen to know why I've been placed under arrest? Was it because of the renovation? Like, I could, I could fix it. Like, I could, you know, figure something else out. That would be our second point of order. Now, have you been... Like, can you, like, recall any sort of strange behavior you've been exhibiting recently? Uh, no, no. I, you know, I work my shift. I work, uh, you know, six nights a week. Um, I don't... Insight check. I want to see uh, they're lying to me. Yeah, no problem. I don't really, like, uh, go out too much other than, you know, a couple, a couple nights a week I go to the, to the tavern, but I'm not... You know, I'm not out every night. Um, you know, can't really afford it. Um, and she kind of like gives you. You do notice uh, as she says this, there's like a little bit of side eye at Laura <laughs> when she says like can't really afford to go out. Mm. Um, hey. And then she uh, just like, yeah. I mean, I I haven't been doing anything out of the norm for me. Um, I hmm. um, can I can I ask? Why? Like, did, have I? Sorry, have I? Have I done something wrong? Did I get a sense that they were telling the truth? Um, you get the sense that they're like, they're very confident in what they're saying. They're not like. It's hard to tell if they're like strictly telling the truth, and if it if they're if they're not, it's a very practiced lie. Mm. Well, uh, uh, Loro, I turned to Loro. Loro. Do you know this person, Marin here? Um, um, sorry to speak out of turn. But I I know Mr. Laro sees uh, a great many a higher. Um, I I've only I've only ever really spoken uh, with Mr. Laro in passing, um, and that I you know I he wasn't really around for my specific um, recruitment, I suppose. But um, oh, how long have you been uh, here in Squelch? Oh, going on three or four months now at this point. I I, I like it here. The people the people are nice, you know, tough, hearty. Um, mm. I get left alone for the most part. I uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been nice. You always been sensitive to the sun. Oh God, yeah. No, it's uh, yeah. I, I find I I just get really uncomfortable. Um, so, you know, I just try to stay out of it. Where did you come from before you moved here, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, God, I've been all over the place. Um, I was... There's a DM. Let's go check the note of my places. What was the name of that other city? Mm. What do we name it? Oh, oh, it I know there, mm. there was Kettle, but that's... I don't think that's the other city. I think that's the city that was before Pell in the same place. I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't I couldn't know if we tell came you. up with a name. I think you banned me from helping, and then we just... Oh, it was left. Bucket. It was Bucket. Bucket? It was Bucket. Who named Bucket? Me. I named it Bucket. Okay. But, uh, yeah. There's, uh, I, you know, I came south from Bucket and I just, you know, I'd lived there for most of my life. I kind of, uh, just ran into some trouble, you know? Okay. And,. Still uh, the, the kind you leave down for, I guess. What? Oh, you? I'm sorry. Am I? Um, I'm, 
Like, uh, am I supposed to be giving up everything about myself? I don't... If there's uh, any neighboring crime families that might have interest in something going on... No, I'm not associated with any crime families. That's fine, then. Continue on with whatever it is you're doing with your solitaire. I hope you win. While Briar's talking, I'd like to take a quick, like, smell of the remainder of the sandwich they're holding. For any traces of, like, a garlic aioli or... A Briar sandwich? Yeah. Uh, Briar, have you been actively consuming the sandwich, or are you just holding it as, like, <laughs> a souvenir? <laughs> You've just been holding the man's I think you take a bit, <laughs> bite every once in a while. But... I've been just carrying it. I don't really eat things. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> I just have it because I can, and I'm really proud to um... have it. So I'm wandering <laughs> around with it. So a lot of people see me with this man's sandwich as a, pride, a, po a point of pride. Katie, you tell me, is the garlic aioli on the sandwich? Hold on, I need to roll for toppings. Roll for sandwich here. Oh my god. Oh, a three? <laughs> it's got peanut butter on it. That's okay. awful. <laughs> that has mayonnaise and blood and baked peanut butter. <laughs> blood? Yeah. yeah, there's some blood on it. I tried to show it to Chip earlier. Mm. Never mind that. You, like, do you, uh, do you guys have anything else you want to ask uh, Marin? Or are you uh, just going to, do you have any other third degrees angles you want to <laughs> go for? Do you want to just stab her in the chest with a stake? That's an option. You know, do this you is a dark room. to know any vampires? Do you believe in vampires? Uh, <laughs> Are you aware of the well, of vampires? I see you guys have put me in a very uh, awkward situation. Uh, uh, why, why are you asking me about vampires, specifically? Can I ask? Uh, what is this about? I found blood on my sandwich. Yeah, the, that's today's special. The blood and mayo soup sandwich. God. Outside. Chip, what, what were the reasons why we suspected this lady of being a vampire? I was again? told by my cabal of cultists <laughs> that she's a vampire spawn. Okay, but I have no idea. Okay. Yeah. Um, people are around. We have a long history here in Scotch of uh, intrusions by vampire spawn. And some people have seen that your behavior might be indicative of something like that. And we just want to make sure that you're okay. For your safety, for our safety, for everyone's safety. Okay, so I feel like my best uh, course of action here is to just be totally and completely honest. You're right, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna cast zone of truth on the ground. <laughs> you know, that is fair. You're right, this will solve a lot of things. Okay, and uh, she 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 lets it lets it go. She doesn't she doesn't yeah. resist it. Easy peasy. Uh, so I am in fact a vampire. Vampires. Okay. Oh, well, I mean one specifically me. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I am non-violent for the most part. Have you always I been have... a vampire? Uh, I mean, for a good long while. Hmm. Uh, I feel like that might be changing in the very near future. What with me being surrounded by this oh hey hey guys uh <laughs> you all have to make that room. save too eh unless you're willing willingly letting it happen oh a charisma save mm -hmm. i can only no, lie i can only tell the truth well so i i think i'm a, I, I can tell who failed and who didn't so it is what it is. I'm not expecting you to. It's just a matter of <laughs> you're in the zone. So, yep. anyway. Uh, so, I am a non-violent, non-practicing, non-spreading vampire. Then, um, uh, how come the lady at the uh, that's running the, the tag shop, the place where you get all your stuff, what's that place called again? My, my work, the barracks? Yeah, the, the place oh. I work. Were you the one that was working that day? 
I work many days, so presuming that this is all connected and you saw me drinking my, my barrel of soup, you probably I'm assuming that this is what this sucks. <laughs> I can't I can't get a job fucking anywhere without fucking weirdos coming to my door be like, hey, do you drink ox blood? Yes. Yes I drink ox blood. What do you want from me? So wait, so this is this is Katie talking, not not Briar. So this was the same person I saw drinking at yes. the barrel. Okay. No further questions. I'm fine with vampires. They sound pretty cool, actually. I, I mean, simple questions. I mean, you've been working under my people for a while. Uh, so, I mean, hey, you haven't heard anybody as far as you're telling me? I mean, that's... that. Okay, well, you know, zone of truth and all. Not entirely true. I have hurt people, but they have deserved it because they were stupid. And yeah, I didn't like them. I like that. That's good reasoning. I give it a pass. Oops. Okay. No. Yeah. Whom? Whom have you done that to exactly? Uh, I mean, there's a couple of the hunters who have tried to, I don't know, get a little fresh, and I didn't like it, and I told them no. Good. And good. got to stand up, I, for, stand up for yourself. No. Fair. Yeah. So no. I might have throat chopped at least two of them. Throat chopping. Oh. Works yeah, no, they yeah. didn't die. They didn't die. They were just, you know, wanted to die. And that's that's really what I was looking for. Okay. Um and oh god. Uh I really I genuinely don't remember these people's names. Uh but uh there was God what I think I broke Willow's nose once. I was very drunk. I think Honestly. I might owe Willow an apology. Oh god. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of funny. But, all right, cool, 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 cool. Uh yeah no I, I I yeah I've I've heard people but the Have probably honestly the same Logan? no that man is made out of scales if I throat chopped him I would probably hurt my hand that's kind of disappointing actually I was really hoping he got throat chopped why he's like a nice dude not to me he doesn't like me I don't know why I say is, it is that a his sandwich <laughs> that's his favorite sandwich. <laughs> Man, he gives a he 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 provides the good we wait. What? I already know about that. Don't worry. Okay. Cool. But don't Excellent. worry about how I know about that. And don't tell him that I know about that. Shh. Okay. Well, it I'm, sounds like I'm lost a lot. <laughs> well, I, I honestly, I probably commit about the same number of violence acts per per like capita, I suppose, as everyone else. Yeah, in me. this in this town, does no. You're probably on the upper end. I imagine just looking at you with that sandwich I, that you don't eat. Yeah, you psychopath. Do you want it? No, I really don't. <laughs> Those are awful. Why do they put peanut butter on them? I don't know. It's gross. I think it's the mayo that goes it for me. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, guys. Hold up, listen. You don't like I'm not. No. That's a crime. Keep her in here. Wait, hold on. What? <laughs> hold on. I, I also don't like mayonnaise. Yeah, crime um, buddies. And she goes to like try to high five you. <laughs> I mean, I'll high five. Yeah, leave, leave him Yay. Up the chip. No, nobody didn't lock up. <laughs> Me, okay, no, who no, stands listen. taller than both of you combined. Yeah. Am I, no, am I unlocked up now? Is that is that listen, cool? Listen, listen, listen. There's, again, a long history of vampire attacks in this area so unfortunately some of the other people here might be a little cautious around you now if you're okay with that and you can deal with that as i'm sure you've dealt with that for a very long time understood no one will hurt you i will make sure of it but i'm just being real with you here all right can we is there potentially an outcome here where we don't tell everyone i'm a vampire um, because yeah, that I'm would be say anything to ideal anything, for me Honestly, otherwise, you know, who I are risk already... being stabbed. Yeah, of course. Although there are people who are already very concerned, hence why you're here right now. Okay. This was not uh, our doing. This was. Can you can you make a deception check for me oh. as you tell this very blatant uh, lie? Can't he not? I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I, I didn't throw them in here. This was the truth. No, but you were. You were sorry. You were absolutely the catalyst. For her being yeah. brought in here. <laughs> okay, but that's not what I'm saying. I, I wasn't the person I, I, who put I, them You there. know, lies by omission are still lies, though. 
I think so. Can't speak I, deliberate I, I lies. You're so. deliberately trying to lie. <laughs> Legitimately, I was not. Uh, I oh. believe. I believe that you that you believe that. Shucks, the spell <laughs> don't know. <laughs> this is not lie at all. <laughs> I'm so confused. It was the part when you said I had so, nothing to do with this. <laughs> with her p putting her there. That's what I'm talking about. Because yeah, we were talking about, can true. she Chip leave? told the guys to stab. I didn't say that either. I just prison. said that there is... I said that there is a danger. And that we have to prepare. I have not said stab them on sight. I have not said <laughs> lock them up. <laughs> yeah. For self-defense. <laughs> Are you kidding I didn't me? send them out on a hunt. I didn't say go find you them and the kill them. You gave them weapons to hunt! <laughs> Sure, but I didn't say go find them and kill them. I said, you know, be ready. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh, and, oh, and if you feel okay, cultists. you know, if you feel like it would I'm be being a persuasion, here. no, no, if you if if you feel it would be a persuasion, you may roll a persuasion. You know your intentions better than I do. I don't think I'm trying to persuade or deceive. I'm just telling them the truth. <laughs> I sorry, I'm asking more of the persuasion so that I can get a gauge for how they're reacting to this. The deception I was see. gonna be the same thing, just a different skill, because I feel I felt like it was a lie. Okay. Either way it's fourteen. Cool. Um so we got off track a little bit there. Can you repeat your last sentence to me so I can reset oh, my God. chat GPT like uh, response? Um, I, I can't remember the exact thing I said, but I basically was saying to them that. Oh, you weren't responsible or something, right? I, um, we weren't the people who put her here. Um, So I'm not going to have to like move, am I? Because I don't want to get stabbed. No? Oh, Do you mean like oh, move oh. residences? Well, I mean, two things, I guess. Is this wall going to be an issue? Because I was honestly, I, that was like I mean, my whole weekend. I mean, will I give you permission? I, I can't yeah. say nothing about that one. It, it, cool, cool, it, cool, you're cool. not going to be responsible for this. They will Very tell good. you a little a lie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. And no chance of other people knowing I'm a vampire at all, right? You're gonna take care of that for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thumbs I mean, up. Would you, uh, would you want me to do exile everybody? Well, I mean, the ones who know, maybe if they know. Uh, or I kill them. Laura. I mean, I'm not a cop. I don't think this is my jurisdiction. Uh, I mean, you're who? Who knows? Like, I, I need the list of names. We we can make things happen. I mean, here. Here, here's the truth. You know, we're still, we're still in the zone. Um, you, you know, you made a side hand comment that you're not paid enough. Uh, you feel like you're not paid enough? Ab absolutely, that is true. Yeah. Okay. Now I am cool with quite... me. Why are you not paid well enough? Uh, well, I mean, part of it is probably has to do with my own ego as a very old vampire. Uh, but uh, you know, I've I have earned varying amounts of money in my time, and I find it often insulting not to be making the most out of most of the people in the room that being said there are nights where i find i cannot enjoy myself a good glass of wine with my comrades and that is due to my financial hardships which i feel like are probably only exacerbated for my comrades who don't just drink ox blood uh Sorry. and have to consume like meals that cost good amounts of money rather than the pennies i have to pay for the the good soup why okay, are you second, not secondary your question. Enough, Hold the fuck on. Sec second question. Uh, and this is rude to ask, but you know, for to gauge the understanding here, how old are you exactly? I am 239 years old. Ah, and on a, uh, on a skill level, do you think you could, you, you know, level with me? Can you take me in a fight? Uh, honestly, right now, no, absolutely not. Really not selling yourself here. This is like a job no, interview. I'm, I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm not a fighter. <laughs> what? Okay, so hold on. What, what exactly is it that you do? I'm really good at bookkeeping. Oh, oh. I know someone who likes books and keeping them. 
what sort of bookkeeping like library well, someone's got a, like usually financial tax you know anything else like that um i the one that balances the books for the barracks because someone's got to make the pay show up somewhere and she's she side eyes Laura. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a fair move. I, I I'm bad with that. Uh, now, you've never skimmed off the top. No. Would you I mean, of the soup, look yes. At your work. Uh, your... I mean, everything? I don't keep them in here. They're they're not yeah, my personal course. property. They're so they they'd be downstairs. But you're more than welcome. They're, you know, publicly available to view. As far as I've been told. I only ask because I. If you wanted to be transferred to somewhere where uh, your skills might be better compensated, upon review of your abilities, I might be able to bring you to the city bank to over in Pell. It's my area of expertise. And I would have a steady supply of ox blood? I mean, you would receive enough pay to pick whatever you want. How much? I'm pay? not going to support. Let's be honest and open while we're here. What am I looking at? Get them well, to put something with Oxford on the menu at the tavern in town. So I would have to first review your work, weigh it against other people's work at the bank, and then choose within a range based on those two factors. So unfortunately, I can't disclose that sort of information right now. I get it. Laura's here. It would be a little awkward for you to, you know, outbet him right in front of him, right? I mean, honestly, it, it seems like, because I wasn't truly a part of your hiring process for the most part. Um, so I had no idea what you were getting paid or not getting paid. Um, also, that we hired a vampire, for that matter, as a monster. Well, hunting. I mean, but they, I, you know, you, <laughs> apparently you guys are the only ones that know. So I sure sure shit didn't tell us all. Yeah, so sure as shit, I... Okay, so I have some other holes. So, hmm, you know, hey, hey whatever works best for you. That being said, could, have you been doing all of my bookkeeping for, like... Eric specifically, not not the, not the whole place here. Um, I think uh, that's just quite a lot of work, honestly, and uh, I have other duties. Um Previously, I did take care of it for all of Squelch, but they needed someone to handle the day-to-day -day transactions of the barracks itself, and I was, you know, in the building. Okay. And, and what do you get paid regularly? Uh, I make about 10 gold a week. 10 gold a week. How much okay. do we make? So ten gold a week and for this forty gold a week monthly. Katie, what'd you? How much do we make? I think you guys make like seventy five gold a week. Oh, okay. Something like that. So what is that? Four eighty a year. Somewhere around there, yeah. That's okay, what well. they make right now. Yeah. Well. Tell you what, I, you know, I'll have to talk to Chip because I, I don't know who does and who doesn't know that I got to handle, apparently, because uh, clearly you're doing a great job because I sure shit can't do that stuff. And someone hired you and they, at a previous time, you were doing it for the whole town and they things just got picked up a bit. But I uh, did hire you. Oh, that would have been... Um, sorry, I have to... Look. I would have been Commander Rutner. Oh, okay. You'll have to talk to Rutner about making sure that he assigns and appropriately pays your employees. Yeah, I am going to uh, speak with him about that. Uh, for the meantime, uh, here's 500 gold. Uh, uh, why? Well, frankly, A, I believe you that you've been underpaid because you've been handling all of the tracking for like this town, more or less, for the quite a little quite a while and now you're you've been moved into the barracks but that is what it is um to uh undo stress uh for doing this because it's not your fault we hired you right away and then have since uh targeted you for it uh and three i kind of want you to stay here and not go to the bank so consider it a blatant bribe 
Mm. I yeah, love do you Craig. like trolls blood? Or uh, specific to ox blood that you enjoy? I, I mean, I, I I tend to just avoid things that look relatively humanoid, just as a rule. That's and I've had conversations with trolls before, so that feels weird, you mm. know? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, never mind. Kind of like how druids, I probably have a hard time not being vegetarian, because they can, like, talk to animals. Although I've met some that can talk to plants, so that probably puts you in a weird position. I get very yeah. upset when Thanksgiving rolls around. Oh, right, the pumpkin. Can you believe mm. I was at a dinner party and they served pumpkin pie? They That's invited hilarious. me and then served pumpkin pie. That's fucking hilarious. Absolutely terrible evil. Yeah, that's hilarious. Like, what, what's what? I, I don't know. Listen, I, I guess I'm unjailed now. That's cool, right? Okay. Oh, 100%. 100%. Now, obviously, I, I I am a vampire, so I will be remaining in my sweet, sweet potpourri jail for now. Uh, uh, why but I is will... it so potpourri in here? Well, because I am a vampire and am thus a corpse. So I, if I don't have something like this, I, I I am a corpse. Do I remember there being a smell in the barracks? A corpse Not really. smell? Or a potpourri smell? Maybe a bit of a potpourri one. Oh, okay. Cool. Hey, and about those barracks, you guys might want to add some more security. I, I, I mean, it's hard, because most of the people here are security. They, they, they are active combatants against the front lines of nature. But, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, it is pretty lax, honestly. Part of the nice part of the job. Uh, but anyways, yeah, if you wanted to go look at the ledgers, you're more than welcome to. I will consider this bribe as probably not a bribe, but also definitely a bribe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and I I suppose I bid you adieu? I, I don't, sorry, I don't know how this works when I'm in my own room. I can't leave and Oh, we'll you see know. ourselves out. I have one last question. Would your ledgers um, show discrepancies in inventories? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. That's all. When was the last time you did inventory? Uh, it would have been just at the end of my last shift, which was two days ago, and I've been up here since. Out of character. When did I steal those bombs? Two days ago. Before or after the inventory count? You don't know. Okay. Well, let's go look at the ledgers. Let's. I would like to try to swipe something on my way up. All right. No, it wasn't two days ago because, right, it was like a multi day travel thing. So she's been two days. You did that like a week ago. So sorry. Uh, it, it is not the same day. Cool. Um,. I'd like to swipe something on my way out. It's like a little trinkety thing. From her, her from her room? Yep. Because you have access to, like, most of her room while she's, like, in her little potpourri jail. Yep. I sure okay. do. So, what do you grab from this person? Does she have anything that looks like it might be magical? <laughs> going immediately for like the person's most valuable shit uh, like uh roll a perception check or maybe something i don't know vampire-y yeah roll a perception check i rolled 14 uh you're on your way out the door and you see a uh <laughs> it's hung up like over top of a, a door frame. There's like this thin black metal chain. Uh and on the end of it there's just like this uh little like little very very dark red ruby that just sort of hangs there and it just seems to be hanging almost like a mistletoe type uh decoration. Okay, I'm gonna um, you know how, like, the high schooler kids will, like, come into a, a, a door and, like, tap the door frame at the top? You're gonna, you're gonna yeah. leap up, high-five the door frame, and take this Ooh. off? Yep. 
Okay, yeah. I mean, you're Tonight. you got mad hops, mad hops. Real, so. <laughs> real cool exit. Mad hops. <laughs> Sleight of hand. What about <laughs> I, I don't, Yeah, I mean, I technically I think part of this would be athletics because you have to leap upwards. Oh. Because you, <laughs> but you also have a climb speed, so. I mean, I'm not. I think you're fine. You, you just kind of the right side or something. Yeah. You just shimmy your way up the door frame very briefly and take the fucking thing off. Uh, so I, I guess you were trying to beat uh, somewhat like people's passive perception with that sleight of hand, which means, oh, and you absolutely do see like sharp pocket this fucking uh, this <laughs> necklace. And it's like a locket. No, it's There's like a like... it's like a red ruby on the end of a black chain. I see. Okay. <laughs> Chip says, "Don't worry, I'll take that from you and make it into armor later." <laughs> Need an upgrade. Mm. Can I, um, uh, let's go see these ledgers. Vampire ruby necklace to my inventory. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. Um, so you go on down to the ledgers and. Uh, Chip, it is some of the most uh, neat and well-written note-keeping you've seen. Uh, the only thing you see that you're a little unsure of looking at this stuff is that this person has like very clearly a well-developed but unfamiliar shorthand that they use with a lot of their book. Interesting. I'm looking for any form, like, I'm going to take this time or this opportunity to look for like bad apples in the bunch. I'm looking for things that don't make sense. Like uh, yeah, so the, um, I would say roll an investigation check with advantage because this is like kind of your your jam. Strong. I like the broken glass effect. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. What the heck? Um, yeah. So you you flip through it and you do see that there's like clear cases of stuff going missing. Um. Uh, Mirren doesn't like, uh, or Marin doesn't, uh, like try to come up with conclusions on any of the stuff that goes missing. They just report what's gone missing and the hours that they've gone missing, uh, so that yep. if anyone does decide to follow up, that they, they can. Um, but it all, it all seems to be like really good note keeping of the barracks. There is, uh, one particular note you see where she has been um like substituting her own pay out because like she she hasn't been spending money on food for herself really so she's been like using it for uh like anonymous bot rounds at the tavern um and you see that she's just like directly trans trend um transitioning the pay on paper uh herself like in the barracks just to like their account Interesting. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. It seems like very just well put together and not they like you don't see anything for the barracks specifically that has like someone is committing crimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the sum of missing goods like substantial? Um, you know, any worth? any amount's not great. Uh, it there's definitely uh, it's it's really hard to say like, hey, this is this is enough for you to like want to do action. You do see that there's like explosives that have gone missing in the last week or two. You see that there's occasionally like weapons that have gone missing or like, you know, someone will do the old swap and put their, their old shitty weapon on the wall and take the new one. So I suppose I would want to reference like this time of year over multiple different years and check how much value has been missing and see if it has substantially gone up stayed the same or gone down uh it looks like it's gone up but not not by like a substantial margin okay um i'll turn to laura and say well laura they are an exemplary employee from all that i can tell the barracks is losing some money via incompetence <laughs> some might say it's not crazy but it is more than usual i would say um yeah nothing nefarious that i can see and if you want to keep them you know, yeah, i'm not trying to poach your people i just figured they'd be more well suited somewhere else i mean hey if you if they're wanting to go that's fine 
That's their options, their choice. It sounded like they'd want to stay here if they could. Seems that way. But, you know, I would say that if they come to your doorstep, uh, not to just push them away for my sake. Halo? I would like uh -huh. to note, I left my tinderbox at her house. Very good. Mm, well, why'd you do that? Uh, <laughs> Briar, there is one thing that uh, I found missing from this ledger that you might be interested to hear. What's that? And I'll like bring the book over to your your face, mm -hmm. and I'll sort of scroll down like personal items to <laughs> to like just to, like an empty space, and I go, "You might want to take away that necklace from their belongings if you're going to end up keeping it." And I'll toss the book to you. Oh. <laughs> Does it say what the necklace is in the book? No, it's just a blank space. I was making a joke. Oh, oh you chip um, always watching. By the way, uh, Loro, those... <laughs> so, I did receive this information from two other people in the barracks. I'll give you their names. However, I do request that they don't be punished. Because this is simply, like... A matter of so, and they haven't done anything like particularly evil. They're just looking for the safety of their brethren, you know. I suppose that's okay. I still might have to talk to them, though. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, what are their names? I'll give them to you. I don't actually know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're, Travis, these are like the bumbling idiots of your of your crew. You know them by name simply because of the amount of like accident reports that they're on about about them like running into doors or like stubbing their toe and breaking it. And oh. the, one of them is actually a record holder for number of broken toes. Oh, uh, chip, chip. Uh, these are like ready to be fired people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this this could be taken care of. I don't even have to directly take care of this. This could be, you know, those ledgers <laughs> might come in handy, actually. Uh, where would I go to get all the notes on their tomfoolery? Uh, the rest of it might be in the command center, where, like, Commander Rutner lives with, uh, like, he's, there's a couple other, like, leading officers with their own rooms in that area. He's got, like, the good bedroom, right. um, as well as like their does. own little library. Uh, do you guys want to do a short break here? Maybe do twenty minutes, come back, and we'll keep going. Sure, sure, sure. Okie dokie. I'll be back.
Hey, let's play D&D. What? Maybe. Maybe we'll play D&D? Perhaps. Maybe. Who's to say? I don't know, man. I'm just eating mozzarella sticks. I, too, ordered food. Speciale. No, Harvey's. No. Shorma? Nope. Something different? Uh, yes. Pizza? Nope. Oh. Have a hint? Um. Still has fries. McDonald's? Yes. Oh. That's good choice. Be just a moment. Just a moment. Don't you worry. Brother, I ain't in no rush. This is my Monday off. I rolled a 15 huh? for amount of rush. That's I love the ability to pick up your rush. dice and throw it. Oh. <laughs> Already. Do 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 do. Everyone ready to go? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. What the fuck were we doing? Vampires. No, I think the vampires were completed. Yeah, no, I think we were reading the ledgers. Um, Chip threw a book at me because I stole a necklace. From the vampire. From the vampire. And then they discussed more about whether or not they should hire slash keep slash pay that lady more. And then they agreed on it. And then... I don't know that we have direction right now. I don't think we decided what we were doing next. We could go and see what all this talk yeah. about uh, about the men with the square feet, the metal men with the square feet is. Yeah, where the meteor came down. Which can yeah, you just that's probably to smart. That they're going to be predators because we already have aliens. True. <laughs> yeah. Um, or it's more the Chris Hansen type predator, unfortunately. We had another option. I thought maybe, didn't we? You got these holes popping up in things chest. Gotta dig them. We could holes. fly into the sky to try and get to hell. Or just have a nice day, you know? Flying in the sky. It'd be cute. Well we gotta go back to your Donna before we go to hell, because she's the one that's gonna get us there and has my maybe, knife. Maybe we can get there ourselves. But she has my knife. Mm, is it an important knife, or is it just like a regular knife? No, it's an important one. She said we needed it when we were in hell. Remember? Right. No, I don't remember, but yep. I believe you. I think we should go find these square shoemen. I, I think so. I think that makes the most sense sure. for what we're doing. Is there near, they're near the meteors, you guys said? Uh, as far as they said, yeah. Alright, well, let's go check that out then. Do we need any supplies? I know of a, a great barrack shop that has lots of supplies. Uh, what I... kind of supplies would we get? I don't 
don't know. I'm out of bombs and you guys seem to be upset about that fact when we were doing something else before. Were we mad that you were out of bombs? Yes, yes. It's in that doesn't seem like us. You, need, you needed <laughs> well done. to blow up a door or something when we were in the statue. And you were like, why don't you have any more bombs, Briar? And I was like, because I used them all, guys. They happened. Mm. Oh, am I being gaslit? I don't really remember that. So, I don't know. Yes, I can keep girl blast. I'm certain it happened. Either way, I don't have any, so if you want me to have bombs, we have to go get more. But we don't we have to. We need more either. bombs. I don't know, do you need more pittens? Do you have enough pittens? I have many pittens. Good. I'm also out of oil, which we used a lot of before. Just saying, we could go stock up on supplies. We don't have any more rope. Fuck, I could use rope. Alright, we'll go to the supply store. We're going shopping! Woo! <laughs> also, Travis, did you change the rest of what your belt did from the last time I told you? No. Well, I haven't touched it. I'm going to try to figure that out for you. Uh, edit Reno. Edit Reno. Oh, I did do that already. Oh, yeah, very good. And when you activate it, you get a flying speed, which I think I told you about. Cool. Uh, so you guys are going off to the barracks? Yeah, they'll totally sell to Loro, right? He doesn't need a permit because he's the boss? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Cool. Um, so you walk in and... Uh, Marin is already behind the counter. You see, hey, she's like that was fresh fast. and ready to go. Um, <laughs> uh, she like has all the windows behind her already closed up. And she's like, honestly, I was going stir crazy. Also, I just made five hundred dollars. This is a great day for me. Yeah. Well, hey, we're here to buy some shit. Yeah, I mean, what 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 do you need? Uh, I like guess. I have, I do have compost. If that's like you're being literal, uh, no, no, no. I I need some rope. Uh, two could use some rope. And... Is this just like a rope fiesta, sir. Would you like to make it a three for a <laughs> rope there, fiesta is there for a everyone? Discount if we all get a rope. Well, I mean, the discount is that you, my, you know, my my boss is here, and he's allowed to just kind of take whatever he wants. So. Mm-hmm. As needed, but okay, so need I'm rope. It's all tax right off at the end, right? Wink wink, nudge nudge. I believe you. <laughs> he was she was saying that more like looking at Chip. No. Um <laughs> no. <laughs> You disgust me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> tax write offs in my city? Get the fuck out of here. Do you guys happen to have anything that goes boom? Uh, we do have quite a few, like, explosives, but... Yes, talk uh, to me about the explosives. What kind of, what you got? What can I... How much? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, there seems to be additional confusion. Uh, sir, Laura, sir, uh, am, am I to give this person explosives? <laughs> That's, excuse me for saying, but it seems relatively unwise. I'm afraid um... explosives... I believe you. That's part of my issue right now. Yeah, not all of it. Oh, come on. I'll I got baby's first bomb here. That's oh, kind of. Not the baby bombs! No, we could use with a decent sized explosive, but uh, we don't need all of them. So you just want like one big one? Because I got Bertha in the back. Bertha? Yeah, she's just been sitting there for like three years. Poor Bertha. No, Bertha. Bertha's a last resort. 
Oh, poor Bertha. Can I take Bertha's babies or something? Like, she got a... That's not how bombs work. <laughs> I don't I know. If you, you know how, bo like, you understand explosives, but not how <laughs> bombs reproduce. I, I don't... I making a joke. Now I'm further concerned. <laughs> Uh, okay, hey, listen, I got, like, three keg bombs here. Um, I'm not, you know, they don't get used often because, honestly, the guys are mostly using them to fish, which is pretty frowned upon right Fishing now. Fishing with so, bombs? Yeah, no, that's, why, again, why we stopped doing it. Yeah, the whole frowned uh, upon part. No. So, so I'm taking three? Uh, I mean, that's up to Laura. We have three? I look pleased. We have three at presently, yes. Or one of the dogs hmm. is turning on the TV. What do you want? How many other bombs do we got in in stock at the moment? Well, we have uh, several other like uh, what I call spot bombs, which are just like you know narrow concussive explosions meant for rapid destruction of usually rock or trees. Um, the these ones here, are, these are meant to like you know you you got a castle wall you don't like. This will make a hole. Uh, Okay, we, we would only maybe need two. Two? Okay, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm taking two bombs? Yeah. Okay. Are we paying for this shit? You said it was free because Loro's here? Yeah, it's just free. Cool. What else did I say I need? To... Oh, yeah, I need more oil. Can I get... Do you have any oil left? Have yeah, absolutely. Can I get, like, two oil flasks? Loro, is that okay? Yep. Okay. No, they, they top you guys all up. Um, you know, you guys each get your rope 50 feet. Uh, do we have any potions in stock? Good call. Um, we got like herbalism kits, but no, we don't, we don't have a resident alchemist. So, oh. you know, we don't really get like shipments of potions. Oh, okay. I thought Fair that enough. Jasper guy was originally starting to work on them, but then people found out he, what he was putting in them, and well, no one really wanted to consume that. What was he ah. putting in them? You don't want to know. No, I really do. You can whisper it to me. I don't. I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> it's not something I want to relive, frankly. Hmm. And that seems reasonable to me. Uh, well. Okay, in that case, uh, I think that's Chip, it. did you need anything? The um, material components. Yeah. First of all, how are we dealing with those? And second of all, can I rummage to find them? Um, Obviously, it would still expend the money, but... If it has a gold cost, generally you should have something for it. Um, if you don't, then, you know, I'm usually happy with you already having had it on you, just as, like, a flavor thing. Okay. Um, as for rummage, like, as long as, yeah, I don't, I don't really see why not, as long as it's not something like, you need the Tooth of Exodia! It's like, no, like, so, probably can't rummage with the Tooth of What Exodia. about, like, rare oils and unguents? Un I've unguent? never seen this word. Un un yeah, un what the fuck is an unguent? Uh, like, it, they're okay. like almost like vials of like all chemical things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about rare oils and unguents worth at least one thousand gold pieces? Okay. What What is the roughage wording? I thought there was a gold cap. Oh there. yeah, there is a gold cap. Because <laughs> so that that seems like it would be the. So I would have to purchase these things. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, I'm good. I don't. I don't think I need anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, now, if you had dark. like a, now you brought up specifically poison. Honestly, this is kind of a good place to ask about poison if you wanted some like, because these guys are like poison, big, large monster hunters. Specifically, Loro is like poison wizard. It's true. He is. <laughs> Mm. I don't so think I really need anything personally. 
Sorry, I thought you had mentioned like specifically a poison you wanted. But um Anywho, yeah, so you guys collect your stuff and get the fuck out of there, stop bleeding your 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 coffers dry. Uh and where are you headed? Uh we're going like to... north directly or where the metal men were seen last. Yeah, I guess we're gonna try to fight the site. North, north of where you guys are. To the north. Okay. So you same just deal as going north. See Santa? What do you think, Chip? Yeah. No, all right. Never mind. We're going to see Santa instead. No. Santa Claus. No, yeah, we're going to. <laughs> Not that. Oh, you out of your mind? <laughs> Yes. Oh no, not this map. This is like the most idyllic map. <laughs> I know, I'm just so scared. Speaking of uh, maps, I saw one on our break earlier, but I'm going to send it to you. There you go. It's a colossal snail. Pretty good. I thought it was really cool. Uh, so same deal as before. You guys have already done like your preparation. Um, I want like, what are you guys taking lead on again? As you go on your way up north, this is probably going to be a two-day trip, so not terribly long. Um, oh, weather we got to take a look at. Yeah, how are we looking today? Nice. No one, no presentation. Another beautiful day. Oh, yes, I love traveling on these beautiful days we get out here in Squelch. <laughs> it's still, like, very swampy terrain, so it's, uh, it's, I'm considering it, like, moderate terrain. Um, Brian so... Loves it. Your DC is a grand total of 14. Uh, who's, who's going first and who's doing what? Uh, I mean, oh, we have our mounts back, yeah? Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, I guess I'll do the same thing I was doing last time. I'm going to try and trace the steps of my people. Trace the steps of your people? I don't... Oh, they sent out scouts to go. Oh, right. There. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, so that would probably be a survival then. Because you're tracking. Um, you know, you're practiced in, like, uh, finding your particular people's, like, trails. Um, so you're able to, like, get a pretty good handle of, like, the direction. You're not super sure, um, some of the time, so it kind of holds you back a little bit, but it's not, uh, it's not, like, a loss. Gotcha. Um, who's, who's going next? Uh, I'll go next. Tonk and I will scout ahead use our tremor senses and stuff to make sure nothing sneaks up on us okay probably perception Oop. you guys get through like going you get through your first night um and there's a very brief moment where you guys have uh found yourselves into like a, almost like a a waterlocked uh part of the swamp so that you guys end up having to like backtrack by a day and scoot back around just because of uh just like one bad small turn um katie what were you doing I think I'm going to make sure that we are being stealthy and not being followed and or tracked by anything. Sure. Can uh, you roll a stealth check? Very good. 30. All right, Katie, I want you to roll a d20. You're, you're picking out the hardship that you guys had because you had two failures and one success. Uh, okay. 
Uh, I need all of you to make a uh, DC 12 constitution saving throw. God. Our pets, too? Uh, no, not the pets. Just you. You guys are all good. So that, that would have been actually two levels of exhaustion, just because you guys ended up having to, like, backtrack um, and wade through so much more swamp. But, uh, cool. yeah, you guys are able to shrug it all off anyway. Um, but you I can put your trip a little more tired. Put your trip a little more tired than uh, you expected. Um, and your mounts are definitely a little a little bit more... Uh, um, it doesn't take long, though, for after you guys have kind of reached as far as the scout's gotten, for you to eventually find a trail of these like big blocky footprints um and actually now that you've gotten like kind of closer to where you're seeing like more and more of these in like a denser area you start noticing other signs too can i get a uh, perception check from each of you Uh, so, Briar, as uh, the other two have been, like, kind of face down in the dirt looking for these footprints, you actually start noticing, like, marking some of the trees where there are, like, scorch mark, or where, like, some heavy, uh, like, very focused uh, source of heat has bored a hole, like, partway through uh, the some of these trees. Hey guys, some of these trees are pretty scorchy, and I don't think it's from Bramble Snatch. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Do they like? Are they scorched in like a like a path or just like randomly? Uh, it looks like um fairly random. It's just like some of these uh look like um something has burned along the surface as it was like following a parallel trail to the tree, almost um. But the some of the some of the trees have been like hit dead on and just have like deep gouges out of them where they've just been like really heavily burned. Um but they just seem to be kind of scattered throughout. It's not like particularly like dozens of them or anything, but there's just a few. And they're each like two or three inches wide um in like burn mark radius. Like, um yeah. Interesting, interesting. You guys also discover, uh, as you guys are like looking around where these scorch marks and everything are, um, there is, there are several trees that have been like pushed aside, and uh, a bunch of earth has been like, or other dirt has been churned up, uh, so that there's like this twenty foot long trench that's just been. It's like uh, you, you guys would recognize it in media as like a like a comet landing and like dragging out uh, and, you know, and churning up just like a big trail of dirt um, leading through uh, part of the forest. Oh, yeah, we were going towards where the rock that was on fire. OK. Yeah, I just put two and two together, figuring it out here. So, uh, are we going to keep going then and keep looking for the asteroid? I think so. Mm -hmm. All right. To the asteroid, please, DM. Okay, yeah. So, you guys get uh, all the way up to the yeah. trail, and it's like a, it's a very swampy area. You know, there, there's, there's uh, at this point, uh, relatively dense foliage as you guys are far enough away from Pell and everything. Um but the uh, where where the uh, comet has hit and turned up this earth, a lot of it seems to have been burned so much that it's like almost been glassed. Um, cool. So it's it's actually kind of like a difficult area to be walking around on because some of it is like slippery. Um. And the water of the surrounding swamp has kind of started to trickle in. So there's almost like this pseudo river trickling down around your uh, guy's feet. Or I guess it'll. Little... 
um the trail itself goes on uh it actually like goes down a hill and then curves up and around um as it as it hits like different banks um but eventually uh you it, and then it goes on for like maybe 100 and two, maybe 100 200 feet before eventually uh you guys see in the distance um like this large metal structure that uh is like beat to shit covered in a bunch of dirt on the front end side as it's like dug in uh you see um 20 foot tall uh basically almost gundams <laughs> like uh these are like mechanic mecha knight armor suits uh with like big guns on the sides of them and you can see that there are people that are like getting in and out of them um of and going back uh they they look humanoid i mean it's kind of hard to tell from the distance you guys are at um but you just see that like some of them are just trying to fix whatever's happened or whatever the fuck this thing is um some of them are there's there's like one that comes in uh from flying off from the distance that actually like blows over top of the guys over top of your guys' heads, um, completely missing you, and uh, like descends down towards where they are, and you see, um, you see another you know, like person jump out of there and just have some conversations with uh, some of the other people. It looks to be like all in all, maybe ten or less people. Um, notably, you see uh, like uh, a blonde, uh, blonde guy with his hair kind of like slicked back who's got like a, a mug of some hot liquid, who's just like hand in, hand in leather jacket, uh, walking between people and just kind of having conversation. You see another blonde person who's like uh, on a hammock, who you can hear barking orders at people. You don't recognize the language, but you just uh, recognize that like the tone um, of just like assumed authority but what you also notice is that most of them are just ignoring the guy. Um, hmm. Other than that, yeah, it's uh, there's uh, two two of them that look uh, like pretty clearly human from this uh, from where you guys are. They uh, are just working on like they look like mechanics almost. They're just like working on one of the uh, armored armored suits. Um, but yeah, you guys have free reign to, you could, fuck, you could start shooting them from here. These guys are clearly evil. Okay, the way I see it, we've got two options. Option yep. one, we can go and talk to them. Option two, I got two bombs. Uh, okay. <laughs> Option three. Travis are, like, devils, fiends? Uh, yeah. Okay, option three, I could commune again if I, you guys give me ten minutes, and then I could figure out if there's any fiends within three miles. Specifically, um, like, over there, I could figure out if there's elementals going on from the I, meteor. I might be... How close are we? Um, It's kind of up to you guys. I was kind of keeping it narratively ambiguous, but you guys have followed along the trail of where this thing has, like, crash-landed, and you guys are basically in the distance watching them yeah at, at 60 feet i could tell you if they're celestial or fiend does that cost you anything divine sense yeah does does it require uh, no, a spell no. letter or anything no i can use this feature equal to charisma plus one i could eagle okay. eye that man Three miles out, I can determine if there's fiends over there. Uh, given ten minutes, though. Does it give you precise, or is it, hey, um, yeah, it's that direction? The example they give is, like, you could determine the location of power of full undead in the area. So I'm assuming I could determine the location of fiends in the area. <laughs> okay. Um, the, I can do that for minerals, so I could... Maybe they're, like, mining the meteor. See if there's fiends. And then I get one more. So maybe influences from other planes. Hmm. Would be my three. 
So we do it. Yeah, if we're not going gung ho, I'd like to spend the time. I mean, what we can do is while you're doing the ten minutes, if they start like fucking off, we can just interrupt them. But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, have your ten. Cool. Oh, and can you throw that in the chat for me again? Yes, I can. So my three options that I'm choosing are prevalent minerals, namely meteor, if that counts. Um, fiends and influences from Hell Plane. Uh, there are no influences from the Hell Plane. There are no influ there's no sign of fiends. And uh, as for prevalent minerals, um, that's a really hard one. I would say that there is a unique metal and you sense two sources of it. Actually, hold on, check my notes. Sorry, three sources of this unique metal that is otherwise unfamiliar to you. You do not know what this metal is. One of those sources is the structure that's in front of you. Okay. And it's made of a material I don't have never seen. Some ambiguous metal, yeah. Steel it looks like steel is not steel. Okay. Uh yeah, so there's no no hell gates that I'm smelling. They aren't fiends over there which is good. Um, mm. The minerals, though, there's a lot of... I got three different hits, one of which is the building of minerals that I've never sensed before. Very weird. Maybe they have better smiths than we do. Maybe. It'd have to be pretty exotic. Do any of these people look like Verdana? Do they look like giants? No. They look like regular just peoples. Yeah, they just look like regular humanoids. Like uh, some of them look clearly human. Other ones are kind of like hard to tell from the distance because there's so many different kinds of humanoids. Who knows? I could sneak in there, do some recon, come back. Yeah, seems like a reasonable idea. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna. Do some sneaking. I'm going to see if I can eavesdrop on some conversations. Here, real quick, while you do that. Um, do, 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 do. Is this worth doing for you? I mean, maybe. Maybe if you got to get away from whatever's happening. So I'm going to do this. It'll last 10 minutes. That's cool. That's very cool. What does this do? Um, oh, and while, while those two are, while well, Loro's handling like uh, enchanting Briar, uh, you hear that familiar raspy voice in your head of your good pal Morto. I, uh, I've got a job for you. and uh this one comes with like a little a little extra a little extra that sweet little power that you and you you can you can feel like a big contemptuous smile kind of spread across his face uh as he's saying like i've just got a little job for you and you know Instead of it being like our normal relationship where I feel like I just take and take and take from you, I'm willing to give back this. I just have one little thing I need from you. Is that something you can do for me? Well, I Chip? need to know what it is. Any points you can feel them in your head, kind of pointing at the structure. He says, inside there, they've got a little briefcase. It's got something in it I really want. Think you can go get that for me? And I look inside the briefcase, I feel like my... Yeah, I'm not, Asia. I'm not the god of secrets. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that. I'll try my best. Very good. Now, uh, I do want to warn you as you are one of my favorite disciples, 
if they if they find you doing this, they will very likely kill you. Like, absolutely, they they I have seen them shoot some things, and it is crazy. But what is inside that briefcase is really cool, and I would like it. Okay, cool. Yeah, Noted. Awesome. Very good. See you soon. Wait, before you go, huh? Are you gonna like punish me if I fail? No, absolutely not. The punishment will probably be them killing you. Okay, fair enough. And that's honestly like, I don't know, what am I going to do this worse than that? I'm not, yeah. I'm not to give you a, that hard of a time. You know, you did your time. You've, you've, you give me more money than most other people do. You're just kind of conveniently in the area here. Cool. Also, you know, competent. That's an added bonus. Well, I'll try. Toodaloo. <laughs> he disappears from a uh, devil off your shoulder. Um, but yeah, Briar, you are skirmished up, and uh, can you just roll a stealth check for me? Sure. Assuming you're not just Naruto Ninja Star running dash. Uh-oh. Yeah, you. It's still pretty sneaky. Um, you go in, and you can uh, you can kind of hear conversation happening between some of the people in there. Uh, but again, it's just a language you don't understand. You've never heard it before. Oh, yeah, Doesn't even sound like remotely familiar yeah. um you see that they're all to a t like wearing like these little earpieces um there's sets of tools among uh like Can I the two my eye out for anyone who might have taken their earpiece out even just for a moment and put it down uh can you make a perception check Um, so the people out here haven't been, like, taking them off, but you do see that there's, like, a recharging station for them that's, like, just on the interior of the door, where people, like, as they're coming out, will, like, just take theirs off from the day before. And there's, like, two left on them. Are they, do they have charge? Can I tell? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they, you recognize some familiarity between, like, this and the station you just came from not in that any of the design is similar but rather like you recognize a battery and Mm -hmm. you see that this one's like this one looks all right can i swipe them both yeah make a slight hand check you sneak on in basically right in the middle of their camp and are able to scoop out two uh are you taking both of them or just one of them no i'm taking both you take two of these like uh wireless headphone over ear (laughs) uh communication headsets and are able to sneak off with them cool see anything else while i'm sneaking around in there uh, are you going inside the thing? Like as you're close enough to it, you see that this this structure is like covered in scorch mark. It's absolutely like carbonized on the outside. Um, that glassing I've talked talked about, where the floor and like the dirt itself has turned to glass from the heat of this thing, it's like the ground surrounding it is sharp. You have to be careful of where you're stepping. Um, and there's just like tons and tons of churned up earth that are like burying the front end of this thing. I guess I'll go back. I don't I don't know if we discussed me entering things. Okay. Yeah, you sneak on back with your little treasures in hand. And I give um, them I, I give I give them one of them and I say, Look, I found this one headset and I took it. I can't understand what they're saying, but I bet you we could hear them. Someone had something to do with languages at one point, didn't we? Someone had something to do with languages? Yeah, to be able to know them. Uh, no? I thought someone I had. don't think I have that. Oh. Nope, Laura, you don't do have not. languages? Nope. Hmm. So then I guess I just got this cool headset for no reason. Anyone want it? I got my own cool hat. Here, Laura, I'll have a headset. Sure. <laughs> you just you plant it on the outside of your arm. 
When he's not looking, can Pretty I much take yeah. mine now and like try to talk into it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, me? you you plant it up to here and you don't hear anything immediately because it's just turned off. But uh, is there like a channel on them? Can I change it to our own private channel so we don't like let everyone know on the radio? Signal you don't know. You know. Like yeah, you you've, you've never used any of these before. Mm -hmm. You can make an engineering check if you want. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Who fucking knows? This is probably actually a boomerang. Now that you think about it. So if I put mine on and Laura's got his on, can I talk to him? Uh, yeah. I'm not saying he's gonna hear or respond, but you can. <laughs> I would like to be like, "Hey, Laura," <laughs> into the headset. Did it work? Laura, did you hear Brer? I mean, she's standing two feet away. Yep. Sure yeah. is. Yeah. Oh. Look, we got matching headsets. What's a headset? It's this thing I put on your head. Oh. Is it good for my spine or something? Maybe. Like those bracelets that suck the arthritis right out of you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't really glean much because I don't understand what they're saying, but they got a... A place and the place looks kind of scary and the floor is sharp. Hmm. Well. What's the plan? I'm not... I'm not the biggest fan of wanton murder, but... I am. And I got Are they evil? They might not be. Is that not a concern? Sorry? <laughs> that they might not be evil? That was my concern. That's what, uh, that's what I just said. It's not a concern for Briar. Yeah. Briar doesn't give a shit, but Briar's nuts, so... Briar's nuts? What? No. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> No. Maybe one of us should make contact. I can attempt it. But what if we can't talk to them? Well, here's hoping they're a little bit smarter than we are. If only we are had we... caregiver bot 13. Yeah. Did it sound like the same thing that caregiver bot 13 was kind of sounding like at first? Not at all. Oh, dang. Oh my god, we're fucked. Alright, guys, listen, if I die again... We can follow. No, no, I know. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, you know, so are you walking just, casually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super cash? Super cash about it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Yeah, you guys are. Are you being stealthy at all, like in any capacity, or are you like I'm not campering not. on down the glass, oh, yeah. the glass walkway? I'll be like following. Okay, those of you who are being stealthy, please roll the appropriate stealthy check. I'm gonna sneak around the outskirts, so if things go wrong, I can get the drop on them. Or leave. Yeah. Or leave. That's also an idea. When a 9 equals a 22, you know you're in good hands. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at sneaky. Um, <laughs> I am, as uh, I said earlier, the super sneak pumpkin freak. True. Uh, so, Laura, you slap slapping your big metal feet along the glass, uh, glass floor. Mm -hmm. They're pretty yeah. quick to, uh, you know, notice you. Yep. Um, are you like, do you have your weapon drawn? Are you like... No, uh, I just have a left hand raised. Just, hello! Um, you see that there's like a pretty immediate reaction from like the big mechanical uh, robo-men uh, where they go to like sort of interpose themselves between you and the non-armored members of, the, of their crew mm -hmm. uh, before... The guy who had the like hot drink with him kind of mm -hmm. like 
says something uh, and kind of waves the rest of them off, and he he just approaches you. Uh, and he's talking, he has like a very friendly tone, absolute gibberish. No idea what this guy is saying. He could be telling you to go fuck yourself and you have no, no clue. But he sounds friendly enough. Um, and he's just there sipping his drink and, you know, trying to carry on a conversation. But how I feel whenever I have to call for Beck. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is just, this is just super awkward, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he basically uh, just starts waving his hand towards you, like almost gesturing for you to keep talking. Uh, okay. I'll just, hey, you know, my name's Laurel. Uh, happened to see you guys streak across the sky, or a meteor did anyway. Uh, I'm just wondering what was going on, or who are you guys? Like, clearly you speak a language I've never heard or understood. You hear, like, a series of chimes uh, go off, uh, it, like, around his head, like, from his headset. Uh, as well as you hear, though, who's, who's holding the headsets? I, I had one. one, and Laura has one. Okay, so the one that you are you have on you, and the one that Briar has on her, all do the same, like at the same time. Do do do, and so all of a sudden you start understanding him, and his very first question is like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like, "Why did, why did you guys also beep?" The translator. Uh, oh, this, also, this it's a translator. Yeah. No. Fuck, wait, that's awesome. Yeah. Why do you have? Why do you have it? How did this happen? I, I don't know. Someone from my team handed it to me. I honestly don't question where she gets things a lot of the time. You know, that's a good policy. I also have a similar policy. And he kind of looks over at like uh, one of the younger Chimes. mechanics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little, uh, these things happen, you know. <laughs> right. Okay. Briar uh, wants the person that's being equated to her. She would like to talk to her later. um okay well uh i have uh no other real way of saying this and i don't mean to cause any alarm for you or your people any kind of gestures to the very stealthy not seen at all people in the at the at the side uh who didn't who definitely didn't beep just a moment ago uh (laughs) And he uh, says, like, we come from outer space. I knew it was I don't know aliens. if you know that concept. Alien, well, I mean, Hold that's up. kind what? of like a generic term. Honestly, a lot of places don't really like the phrase anymore. You wouldn't know. It's fine. Uh, I was going to say, Laura was confused and concerned. It's, you, it's okay. There's going to be a lot of that. Base, um, what? Okay, no. Up. Um, so, you know... Um, you know when you look up, yeah. Okay, so be you know you know how. Um, okay, take take this uh, take this pond over here. You see how you can see uh, one end of the pond, and you can see the other end of the pond, so you know where this pond ends. Yeah, yeah. Okay, think of it when you look up at the sky. When you when you see the sky, that color, that is where the sky ends, and I am yeah. from beyond that. Well, we are from the outside. Isn't that God's? Isn't that? Are you just a god? No, 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 no. no. So you're above this guy, Uh, but under God. uh, uh, Okay. Um. The the yelling from within the bushes. (laughs) 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 The 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 closest comparison I could probably make to you is uh, I am a sailor. I'm a okay. I, I, have, I have a specific job of moving things from one place to another. Um, okay. This I I am the captain, and this is my crew, and this is my ship, the Skyfall. The uh, Skyfall. Why we are. About the Skyfall before, other than just the song. Um. I. We we are just you know comparatively humble merchants uh you know we have specific duties that we have to accomplish um we were sort of waylaid and now we find ourselves stranded here with immense damage to our boat oh okay 
Um, oh, did your boat break? Yeah, what brought you down? Um, well, we planned to come by and just um, kind of come down and refuel and retop up on water and you know stretch our legs. Um, but as we as we were descending, uh, coming back down towards the ground, um, there was some intense signal uh, that seemed to draw our ship. We were almost being pulled towards. Uh, there was a big statue in the middle of of the lake, oh. and it seemed like we were uh, being yes. pulled towards it. Um, but at the last, uh, like uh, the la- what felt like the last second, um, the our ship part of it broke off. Frankly, um, split into two different parts on its own, and well, one of them we can kind of do without. Uh, the other one is incredibly high priority um so on top of trying to repair our boat um i've got to figure out trying to find those other things at least uh, i mean one of them absolutely but i i don't know um did you folks happen to see anything streaking through the sky the other night or how long ago are we talking oh this would be a little over I would say a week and a half at this point. That was before yeah. we it, it, No, it coincides with uh, yeah. Laura's, Laura's oh, trip. Yeah. I saw something fly through the sky. I don't okay. quite remember what it was anymore, though. But um, that was before we went into and caused a meltdown yeah. catastrophic. Yes. <clears throat> um, so, I, I... You know, we, if we, we don't mean you folks any trouble. Um... Uh, I'd offer you help of your our own, but we, uh, frankly, I I don't know what I could help you with. Um, you know, we don't really have a whole lot. But um, you know, we we plan to be peaceful while we're here, and we plan we don't plan to be here forever. Well, I mean, fair enough. Um, yeah, likewise. I I mean, if there's something we can help you with, like I did see something. Uh, I believe it was out in this direction, was it not? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Captain Haddock. Oh, nice to meet you, Haddock? Captain. Oh, uh, yeah. Like the fish? Uh, the, the very same, yes. Do you know anyone named Trout? I don't. Okay. I... I'm... <laughs> don't, don't, don't. It's... I know, I know. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> hey, can uh, you know those? Though, okay, those were extra, so I'm not gonna. Maybe you're our new friends. You should keep them. How about that? It's not I, as much fun when I have permission. I mean, wait, you yeah. stole these? What? No, the hell did you think I got them? I don't question how you get things. Maybe you should start. I don't think I should, because I'd have to throw you in jail. I thought we had an understanding. Yeah, that's why I don't ask questions, so stop making me ask questions. Okay. I um, asked the machine that was holding them if I could have them, and it didn't respond, so I assumed that meant yes. This world is a dangerous place. Anyways, Captain... Uh, um, is it? Is there anything we can do to help you? We're kind of, you know, at, at our wits' end a little bit with some stuff that we got going on, um, in regards to the chul that are around and the changes that have overcome them. But and the demon attacks. Yeah, and there's that. But uh, that's been a while since we've talked about that one. But yeah, uh, that <laughs> you guys uh, leave some leave, live some pretty high conflict lives, don't there you? Is also I'm sorry. Like I, 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 this is probably the translator is still not really doing it, but I don't know what a lot of these things are. I've heard of demons. You know, we've we've certainly had our fair run in with those. Um, uh, I don't know what an abolisk is. I've never never uh, heard of that one. An abolith? Abolith? No, still don't. I mean, uh, okay. I yeah. Uh, you know, I don't tend to run into a whole lot of. Uh, that sort of beastie, you know. Some, you know, the different stuff, but not, no. not, not quite the same. 
No, I can say I've never ran into one, but uh, where you were talking about that big statue, there seemed to be like an underground... Uh, I don't even know what to call the things that you're on, your ship. I don't know. It's yeah, boat works. That's what we call it. Yeah, it, there's almost like a boat likes thing under there, and uh, I don't know. It was. I mean, something like that would explain the signal, but I don't know what it was. It seemed to. I don't know. It, it all of a sudden, all of all of our um, op, like our our operating systems are 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 things that steer us. Um, they all of a sudden started displaying one giant eye. And it, um, yeah, I don't know, the ship seemed to just like, get a mind of its own. You know what else has one giant eye? Uh, I don't, actually. An obelisk. I, I don't even, I'm sorry, again, I don't. <laughs> we're, we're, on these things. we're saying we're pretty sure the abolith brought your uh, ship yeah, the thing that well, was The abolith sounds like an tower. asshole. He's gone it's, now. It's, well, that's excellent news. Means we'll probably get to leave whenever we get the damage repaired and we collect our goods. Um, now, normally I wouldn't try to take you up on this sort of offer because, frankly, I don't know you and you don't owe me anything. Um, so, you know, it's not without some shame. But um, if your if your offer of help was genuine, yeah, we we are def we are desperately in need and. I don't mean to overstate this, but if we don't collect our goods, um, a lot of people in this area are going to be in real real need real soon. Okay, you might have to explain that one a little bit. Why? Yeah, totally agree. Well, so our our uh, our vessel, the uh, the sky, if we call it the Skyfall, just kind of our own, you know, our name for it. Yeah, I'm I'm learning the, slowly, the, but yeah. The 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 type of boat she is, it stands for secure kiln yawner. Now it's our our our, our whole purpose uh essentially with this ship is to be able to fly close enough to um uh, a solar body, a sun, uh and dispose of things that are um, either incredibly dangerous or contagious. Um, and quite frankly, we were on our way to do that when we were struck down. As in you um, have something dangerous or and or contagious on your ship at this very moment? Uh, no, unfortunately, it's not on our ship. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that broke missing? off. It, um, yeah, unfortunately, yes, it is. Ah! Oh. What did you what, have? Yeah, what does it do? Oh, oh its official name was uh, P-7892. Um, but the kind of, I guess, uh, nickname for him was always the Hungry Boy. Um, um, does he suck things she, dry? After a fashion. Um, Leaves more, a circle. I can, uh, I see you run into them, or maybe there's leftovers. It's only going to get worse, too. As it, uh, as it consumes things, it gets bigger and goes after bigger and larger prey. And each time it does it, it, it doesn't just consume the host. It, for, for a while, it becomes the host. Um, so you're saying anything it, could be anything? Well, it would be quite obvious. It leads to in near immediate mutation and uh, pretty terrible transformations. Although those seem to revert when it leaves those uh, carcasses. Um, oh, but as it moves from thing to thing, it tends to maybe take a trait or two along with it. Now it has it doesn't have a permanent memory and as it goes it seems to swap traits in and out. But this thing it, it's it's not smart in the way that you and I are smart. It's smart in the way of being able to adapt very well. Almost uh I don't want to say infinitely, but very reactively. Shucks. So and, what, 
What is it murdered? It killed a, a lightning salamander and a grizzly bear. And we also ran into an abnormally large crow who said it was natural. But now I'm questioning. Oh. I believe the crow. Would the thingy lie to us, Mr. Captain Man? Uh, well, the the thing I'm speaking of, the hungry boy, uh, it's not exactly capable of speech. So if we cast animal friendship and we could talk to animals, then... Uh, no, I, I, I assume it would be too busy trying to consume you. Okay, cool. I trust the crow too, Chip. That being said, there's no real upper limit on these things. As long as it can um, get close to its prey, it'll it'll dig in. And so sorry, you want this thing back? Well, we need to dispose of it and... Um, being entirely honest, safest way and most sure way to do that is to launch it into the sun. Now, that's going to be hard because this thing had never fed before. It was not like this was something that was made in a lab. We knew what it was. It, there's other versions of it elsewhere, uh, but the lab had been taken down and, well, we were assigned to dispose of it. What kind uh, of mad scientist would make such a thing? The kind that sells to the military. What is their name? I I honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Not, if I did know, I am still, you know, under some obligation of confidentiality. I guess that's That fair. being said, um, I don't think it would be ever anything you'd have to worry about running into, uh, you know, what with it not being part of the same, you know, planet. But, uh... Sorry, I guess Travis isn't here. Is Can I think to Morto and be like, is is this creature the thing you want, or it is in a briefcase specifically in their building? No, I want what I want what's already in uh, what's in the structure. I don't care at all about the creature. Okay. Hmm. Well. You guys just want to wait until Travis gets back? Yeah. My next questions are things like, how do we track it? Or where do you think it would go? And I feel like those are things that Laura should be around for. I could ask him while we're waiting what kind of food they eat. Just, you know, as a side question. Yeah, I suppose he could. What kind of food you guys eat? We're waiting for Laura to time back in. Uh, it's mostly, honestly, a slurry of background nutrients uh, come out of a bag that tastes mostly like bologna. Do I know it's what bologna great. is? Uh, probably not. <laughs> what is a bologna? Can I try some of your food one day? Uh, I mean, here, you can. Uh, if you're going to be taking this stuff on for us, we've got a few things we can hand off to you. I just want to try, like, a bite. I don't need full meals. Oh, it's not a bite. It's more of a slurp. A slurp? Here, you guys don't... Yeah, here you go. Here's a Capri Sun of bologna sauce. Okay, I take the straw off, and I'm confused about where to put it. You put it inside the pouch, you, like, stab into it, and then... Okay. I'm good at stabbing, and I stab. Alright, stab. You, have, you now have a Capri Sun full of, like, emulsified bologna water. What, what do I like it? I, that's, up, that's only something you can answer, okay? <laughs> that's something everyone that's has to answer for themselves one That's the best fucking bologna day. water I've ever had! I take it back into my bush with me. I'm still pretending to hide. Very good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab water. <laughs> Me too. I don't need water, I got bologna. Or Capri Sun. Thanks for the bologna, Capri Sun. It was really tasty. Loved it. I 
could use a little more water. Where when else did the skywalk no skyfall thing it came up before because we were talking about it. Yeah. Oh, that was it? She was just talking about the Skyfall? She just kept saying this Skyfall. The corruption. Oh, the corruption is the big guy who eats a lot. The hungry boy. Is it spelt B-O-I? My notes? Yep. Yes. Very good. It's spelt B-O-I in my notes now, too. Or it was, at least, before, also. Oh. Uh, Travis back? Nope. That bitch. Yep. I always knew he was a problem. Oops. It's really nice of these aliens not to eat us. Hello. It, it, it is really nice of these aliens not to eat us. You're right, Katie. <laughs> At least for now, until we find the hungry boy. Then we're there is that. Here comes the death. Do, 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 do. I don't like that song. Rowan, do, 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 do. do you like my song? Katie said she didn't like it. I like it. I appreciate you, Pop. Not Katie, though. Stinks. Like a butt. A butt that stinks. <laughs> I said it. That's it not again. nice. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, I mean, you know, I kind of assumed, I guess. Hmm. I'll remember this. Yeah, yeah. I won't. Well. <laughs> counter, cross counter. Good thing it's recorded live on the interwebs for our oh, future yeah. perusal. Joke's oh. on you. I'm old as shit. I don't know anything. Yeah, but if I have video evidence, I can just keep showing it to you. 
It's gonna be like the worst version of Fifty First Dates. Oh, <laughs> Look at this time you fucked up. <laughs> Look, at Look at this time. One time. Look at this one time you were fucking moron. There's you many other times. This is the one time it was documented. I said no. <laughs> I'm, I have returned. Come back. Come back. Sorry, my mom called oh. me. Rob. What's happened? Um, uh, the man gave me one of their nutrient, macro nutrient packed uh, bologna water Capri Suns to try to eat because I wanted to know what they ate. And? It was the best fucking bologna water Capri Sun, and then I took it, and I went back into the bush again to continue to pretend like I'm hiding. Ah, I see. But I will yes, continue to yell from the bush. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Into the translator. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um, but we were, uh, my next questions were things like, how do we track this thing down? Where do you guys think it would go? And I thought maybe you'd want to be present for that. So we were just kind of sticking around until you returned. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. How dare. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, yeah, anyway, I, uh, I don't mean to... this thing you think? <laughs> uh, I... You know, uh, if you guys are gung ho about going out to find and capture, or if you are able to kill uh, this thing, um, we love killing. That's alarming, but you know, probably contextually appreciated. Uh, I hunt things. It's a you know, it's it is what it is. See, that's a much that's a much more normal way of saying the same thing that she said. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, you know. Uh, Desperate measures, desperate times, what they say. Probably not in that order, but, you know, sometimes, together. Um, listen. This thing will fuck up a lot of different stuff, but if you're smart about it, I'm pretty sure you guys could handle this thing. You look like you know what you're doing. That one's crazy enough to probably kill most things on their own. Um, <laughs> mm hmm, mm -hmm. I actually, you know, I don't know why I'm saying you guys. I still haven't seen the third one, so I'm talking. Yeah, you don't even know how many there are. Yeah, yeah there's, <laughs> there's hundreds so many of us. Of us. <laughs> uh, but anyway, <laughs> you know, I can, I can, I can kind of tool you guys up and give you, give you some, give you some help. Uh, but unfortunately, we're kind of tied down here. We can't travel too far. Like otherwise, we'd go out and try to collect it ourselves. He gestures up to the Gundam suits, and uh, but these guys can't travel too far from from the old boat, or otherwise they power down. Oh, so you're not going to give us mm, the okay. cool suits? Unfortunately, no. They also require a lot of training, a lot of licensing. People think they can just hop in and it's they just Tony Stark their way away, but no, it's uh, Tony it's Moon? actually a lot of uh, he, he's a you know he's a weirdo. Never mind, he's an alcoholic. Don't trick and drive. Yeah, don't drink a boat, I get it. Mm -hmm. God, that rule isn't followed ever, is it? Not usually, no. Okay. Okay, uh, can you point us in the right direction? Do you have any... Uh, frankly, you guys guess as good as mine. Um, you say you know, you've seen a few instances of it already. Did it seem to be traveling in a particular direction? One thing you should be looking for is like, as it gets bigger, the holes it's leaving are probably going to get bigger too. So if you got I don't know, signs of that happening in a particular direction, usually it'll like, I don't know why it does this, but it'll usually hunt in a straight line. I think that's part of the reason this one in particular was getting scrapped because it was just like fuck stuff up in a particular direction, which isn't usually useful unless, you know, you're in very specific orders. But, you know, that's why this one's getting pictured in the sun. Hmm. What's the salamander hole bigger than the bear hole? Uh, I believe that was mentioned, yes. 
That salamander was bigger than the burr. So does that mean it's headed straight for Squelch? Oh, we don't know. We only have two two points. Yeah, but Something. it went from the bear to outside of Squelch, so my next assumption would go with Squelch. Could have been lizard to bear. Well, you said the holes get bigger the more it goes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it did go that direction, but I don't know. We got to go find a third body before we can ascertain its exact goings. Well, um, go other signs, other signs you'd be looking for is uh, a thing only tends to hunt down other predators. Uh, yeah. So anywhere where that's, uh, you know, you see signs of there being fewer. I guess that's you know. Oh. Um, Shit. That's what we, we do have near the bear. We do have a, uh, a like a particular net to try to catch this thing, uh, but I'll be honest, it's hard to use. You gotta kind of actually like attach it to the fucking thing, and then all it does is kind of hold it down. And even then, it only works if you get it while it's under a particular size. So, you know, I guess time there's a specific timeline for this tool functioning. Uh, um, so, question: You were going to toss it into the sun, so we're free to kill it if we can, or yeah, has... if you're if you're able, yeah, absolutely, jump for Ooh. it. Makes you know? it a lot easier. Yeah. That, that... Um, now I'll admit that's that's a difficult task. This thing, uh, it's known to be, be able to regenerate quickly. It's known to escape quickly. A very mm -hmm. common tactic it'll have is that uh, its host it'll just send it at you. And launch itself out of the host and go, and go the other direction. Noted. These are important points. Uh, well, what is its base know, state? Uh, well, initially it looked it looks like uh, kind of this multi-legged, horrible worm type creature with a huge gaping maw, uh, kind of circular in shape with a bunch of uh, bangs that kind of clutch on to the outside. Um, usually it'll use these fangs to allow it to bore itself, you know, into its host, but, um, they think start small. They started about probably the size of, uh, like a cat. Oh, uh, is this much bigger than that now? So. Yeah. And it'll, it'll, it, they say this thing doesn't sleep. It just keeps going. Oh, okay. 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 I have an idea because... Okay. Well, I mean, we know that it was going in the direction of Squelch, but with all the records that we hold for going out and hunting, we could probably cross-reference who or what other, you know, beasteries are close by, and chances are in order of size, and could potentially figure out, okay, what would its next host be looking like and where they are, and then we could head in that direction. That sounds like a lot of time. We also have like patrols who go on a specific routes, right? And if none of them have seen it, then those are places that it isn't. There's that, yep. Uh, if it helps you guys as well, look in the journal notes. There's a new folder for Skyfall where there's a bunch of like just pictures and whatever characters that you can kind of have in your mind. Where? Oh, here. Oh, Clive was great. Is he the one that had the hammock? Yeah, he's the one in the hammock who's still kind of like barking orders at people. And you hear you hear him now saying like, excuse me, gin and tonic? Hello? Maybe a little pound cake? No? No? Bologna water? Oh, yeah, I guess I'll take bologna water. Again. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll take care of this problem for you. Right. No. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Well, you know, um, we're happy to give you whatever aid we can. Um, we've got a few things, and he goes and he gets uh, from inside. Uh, he actually leads you guys all inside the building, mm -hmm. uh, where uh, you guys would all kind of sort of recognize it as. Like uh, a relatively high tech spaceship, 
Um, lots of metal all over the place. Uh, it all seems like really well furnished. Um, there's like the Star Trek glidey doors, the wispy doors. Well, um, but he, the the whole place is kind of off kilter because of the way the the landing happened. Um, so as you're walking through, it's almost like you got boat legs where you got to kind of lean one direction. But um, he brings you into like a side room and he's like, okay, well, this is our armory. Um, and we got a few things here that uh, we can do away with that we can give you to hopefully help you out uh, in this endeavor. Cool. Uh so uh, he starts. He kind of turns his back to all you guys, and he starts like uh, put, pulling boxes down from the wall, his and he's back like moving is stuff. You say, yeah. Can I swipe something? Uh, yeah, or you you could try. There's like boxes up and down the sides of the room. There's uh, like lockers with stuff inside of them. Um, there's uh, like big sealed packages that have like large needles in them. Oh god, I just want um, something small. Uh yeah, so there's um three things probably catch your eye. One of them is like maybe about the size of like a tennis ball and it it looks like it uh is made out of almost like a crystal and it's like multifaceted. It's got like a bunch of glitter happening around it. But you notice like it has like a occasional um almost pulse about it where um in between each of the facets you can see like the the like very very bright shimmer of like blue light um and then uh on the far side of the wall across like uh, nearest to the captain there's um this small it, it looks almost like a uh a metal detector that'll fit just in like the palm of your hand um, like it's it's just like a rod with like a flat handle on the on the on the, like flat forty five degree tilted handle, um, or paddle rather. Uh, and then uh, another thing was just this uh, this this belt with like it, it kind of works up into a harness as well, um, but it's 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 like a belt harness of suspender combo type deal that's all made out of metal. And those are three things that are like relatively small that you could reasonably like assume to grab one, but I would like the first one. The first one? Okay. Um so can you make a sleight of hand check? I rolled it already. Uh so that would be chip. You would absolutely <laughs> see this happening. As uh Briar is just reaching up along the wall and scooping up this glowy blue glass looking ball. Okay. Uh and Chip, you are you are at the back. Uh like you, you, Laura is at the probably at the front, like mm -hmm. most interacting with uh the captain. Um and then you see Briar ahead of you, and then you're the kind of in the doorway. There's no one else really around. Everyone else seems to be outside. Is Briar clock chip clocking her? Uh probably not, but if you want to roll a perception check, you go for it. Yeah, like out of the corner of your eye, you can kind of see that like Chip is facing your direction, but he doesn't seem to react to you doing what you're doing. I'm gonna leave uh, uh, the small button from the office of the Rook in the place of the item that I took. Okay. <laughs> I want to keep my eye out for that. Any uh, briefcases? Um, you kind of see, like, as you have the thought of this briefcase, you see almost like a uh, a Dead Space style waypoint <laughs> light up on the ground of like metal coins, or rather gold coins, kind of dropping in a trail of Morto leading you a clear it's sign right, of like, go, go here. Go over there. That's funny. Uh, is it like far off the beaten path? It's out of the room that you're currently in. You'd have to like sneak out uh, behind the captain, which like you're already in the doorway. He's facing away from you. It wouldn't be hard. 
uh, but you would be you would be leaving the party to do that. Right. Um. I'm going to be casting a subtle spell casting. Um, find familiar. Okay. And uh, I'm just trying to pick an animal. What's a stealthy animal? Maybe like a spoiter? Yeah. Let's do... Let's do a spider. No, no, let's do a fly. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna have it follow the trail and go pick a lucky. Okay. Yeah, it, the trail is maybe like another 30 feet through some hallway before, um... You guys are through like 30 feet of hallway before uh, you get to um, like this central area where there is uh, like this big glowing um, power core in the center of the room, essentially. Um, and alongside of it, you see that there's like six or seven of these uh, briefcase like objects that are kind of like plugged into uh, the side of uh of, of it you don't really know what their function is just that they are there additionally there's um at the like back of the room there's another uh series of like different book uh like a briefcase suitcasey type things um to the point that like you almost get the feeling that morto is like fucking with you um But then you you just following like the gold coin trail, it leads you like past this room and into um, what looks to be like the captain's office, uh, where like nestled along the side of the wall, like behind a uh, like a little house plant pot, there is a like like a tiny silver briefcase, and you can clearly see just one of the coins resting on top of it. Is there? It's just completely silver. Yeah, it's just like a silver briefcase. There's like latches and stuff, but you're a fly. Yeah. Uh, cool. I'll poof him. I'll land. Um. At this point, uh, Haddock is turning around, and he's got like, all right, these are uh, some stim patches. Uh, basically, you stick them on your chest, and then. Uh, you just kind of give them a, a good, a good punch, and it'll release a bunch of uh, chemicals, I guess, into your system that'll kind of speed you up for a little bit. And basically, these are potions of haste. Um, and he gives you guys two of those. Oh, perfect. Uh, and then he's like, "These ones here are uh, just little combat regen st- regen packs, and they're uh, they're like tiny needles, essentially, that you guys just." You know, stab yourself with, and it's a health potion. Um, uh-huh. And he gives you guys, he gives you guys three of those. And last but not least is old Bessie, and he you know re- leans down and drags like this big case out from underneath the shelf, and he flips it up, and it looks like um, it's just like these three big uh, metal discs. He's like this thing. And they that he picks up one of the discs, and the other two are kind of like magnetized and hovering around it. This thing, if you manage to get all three of them on to, you know, the hungry boy, uh, it'll try to like tie him down and keep him subdued. But again, that's got to be done before he gets to a certain size. Oh, that's uh, the net you were telling us about. Yeah, net-like thing. Oh, that'll be useful. Hopefully. All right. All right. Yeah, I think I think we're ready to start the hunt. I suppose. So. Kidoki. What's our 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 game plan again? Do we need to have a long rest before we venture out? Oh, I'm so. okay. Okay. Well, uh, 
before we do that, it's probably a good time to call the session before we end up going too late before, uh, you know, we got to go to bed. <laughs> um, I think next weekend, Katie and I have neighbors coming over on a day. It's, can you I remember mean, what day is it? Is it the Saturday? Or? Maybe the 22nd, apparently. Yeah, which was the Sunday, I think. That is Sunday. It's the it's Sunday, Sunday after this Sunday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be busy Saturday the 14th. Okay. 14th, you're busy. Uh, so we're skipping next weekend. But then we're good for... The 21st. Katie, when are we going up with your Either dad? the 28th or the 4th. He did not reply to my text message. Okay. So we're off next weekend, then we're on again the 21st. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Sounds well, I, I hope uh, you guys had fun. I hope you're not tired of the weird sci-fi shit. Uh, me? I I'm just getting like started. Oh, no, I know. No, no, I'm... No, 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 no. I don't know how I'm going to get that briefcase without destroying the entire city. But, uh... <laughs> All the sci-fi. Cross that bridge. Oh, uh, I guess, Katie, you probably want to know what your weird disco ball thing is. Yeah. And, it's, like, uh, maybe the vampire necklace also, if I'm looking at this. Vampire. Uh, the necklace thing is one of your wishlist items. Woo! Woo! I stole yeah. one of my wishlist items? Yeah, from your new allies. You stole, you monster. Uh, it is, it l lets you cast, uh, invisibility on yourself twice a day. Cool! That's, that's yeah. Okay. Uh, the other one, you don't get to know yet. Oh. Mainly because I haven't decided how I'm going to punish you. What do you mean punish me? For stealing from the vampire. You just so they're gonna punish me you. for stealing from the vampire. No, that was, that was from the spaceman. Oh, the space... Snow globe was the invisibility thing. Yes. Sorry if that was unclear. Yeah, I got confused. Okay. Cool. So I don't know what the vampire necklace is then. No. Okay. Probably gonna be you below. Probably. Can you put the rock in my inventory or? Yeah, I'll figure that out at some point. <laughs> cool. Thanks. What are you guys up to for the night? <laughs> 